family, once again, don't forget to listen to Citizen Radio on FM 107.5. In a little short while now, we can definitely see fans of Prophet Joseph from the Grace Consuming Fire Ministry alongside Pastor Jonathan. So, I go join again, yeah? But in the meantime, you can join Prophet Joseph from the Grace Consuming Fire Ministry. I thought that I was nobody. But God transformed my life and made me who I am. There are no problems too large or too small that we cannot solve together. As long as I'm fed with him, I want to not be with you forever. Oh, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. Yes, fam with them on a good evening. This is now the Great Consuming Fire Ministry, number 15, Mekai Kondu Road. Me now Pastor Jonathan, Consuming Fire Ministry. And I get me prophet, Prophet Joseph Kane. We don't come for can give you the word. The word of God. Then they take you from this world to heaven. Then they deliver you from your iniquity, from your captivity, by the grace of God. I don't get much for say tonight because the word of God, where the man of where the man of God don't prepare is too much for you. By the by this word, they will get you deliverance. By this word, they will get you riches. By this word, they get blessing by the grace of God. Connect yourself to this man of God. Connect yourself to the media by the grace of God. And they invite me, Papa, me, me spiritual that they will don't give me the word. We don't show me the word. We don't open my eye for I know the word. We open my eye for I know the scripture by the grace of God. Connect yourself by this. By, by, by God in grace and God in power, God will use this man and transform your life in Jesus' name. Uh, I want to introduce this prophet, uh, Prophet Joseph Kane, where you all be not a year in program. Tonight, if you believe or you trust in God, you connect your faith with this man of God. Uh, there is deliverance for you, there is blessing for you, there is promotion for you in Jesus' name. Uh, I want to introduce Prophet, uh, Prophet Joseph Kane. You are welcome, sir, my spiritual daddy. Welcome, sir. Thank you so much. God bless you. May you live to accomplish the work of God. Amen. Good evening, listeners. This is your prophet, Prophet Joseph Kane from the Great Consuming Fire Ministry, located at number 15 Make Icondo Road. By the special grace of God, this program has been your usual program, the prophetic hour, prophetic communication, with a different dimension with the word of God, strictly to speak the word of God. So I want you to connect yourself wherever you are because I don't want you to be a regret. Don't let this ministration pass you by. Of course, you know, I always come with, come with information whenever I'm at the studio. And I do believe with this information because I mean to understand if you lack information, you will suffer suffocation. So by the special grace of God, the reason why there are massive failures in school is because students only pay school fees, but they don't pay attention. And it's not the matter of wearing the uniform because even if you wear uniform, you are not informed, you will deform. So by the special grace of God, I came with different anointing this evening. I want you to connect yourself now. Call your brother, call your sister, call uncle, auntie, call even all those around you. Because this message is right from the throne of grace. It only takes the prophet that God will reveal such a message. So by the special grace of God, wherever you are, I want you to be attentive. I want you to wake up those around you that the, that, that the thing, because this message, oh, Rakoto Bikata Shakaya, Zigedi. In fact, as I'm ministering, the Lord is telling me that through this message, I can see turn around because a lot of people that have been ignorant of this thing that I'm about, that the Lord has given me to minister to you, I am seeing it turn around in their life in the name of Jesus. Amen. So I want you to connect yourself. Don't forget this, your prophet, prophet Joseph Kane. I want to minister a message that the spirit of god helped me to title the mistake generations make about blessing especially father's blessing i repeat myself again the mistake the generation makes about blessing especially 
especially father's blessing so ladies and gentlemen i want you if your children are around you walk them up because this message is very much significant to them oh if your beloved ones those that are around you your sons and daughters are around you walk them up let them be around the radio set let them stay tight let, let them be connected by the special grace of god uh, before i minister I, you know i'll pray because if there is a man to pray there is a god to answer and there is nothing i can do without prayer so wherever you are bow down your health and join me in prayer because i don't have much time by the special grace of god father i thank you for a great day like this yes lord i glorify your name i give you all the praises oh my god i am here not on my own making but because of your grace and your empowerment yes lord many are out there they are down the grave but we are still alive to decree and declare your word that we shall not die but we shall declare the glory of god so father i am here to re-echo what you speak in my spirit i'm here to speak to people are there words you don't want me to say don't put it in my mouth but are there words from the holy throne even if i don't want to say it because of power father voice it out by your fire Amen. help me to accomplish as i've started this race help yes. me to end the race yes, lord. let your will be done now through this ministration from start to finish let it be under your divine directive yes, lord. go with me the right way you want me to go and help me to and help me not to misinterpret your word Amen. holy ghost i thank you I thank, I you, thank you for even the listeners out there that are under the unction of this voice. Yes, Lord. Father, no matter what the devil may try to take out their attention so that they will not concentrate, give them focus mind as you have given me the word. Yes, give them the ear so that they will listen to this world. Amen. Holy Ghost, I thank you, Lord. Thank you, I Lord. give you everything. I give you take all the glory. Yes, Lord. From start to finish, let this ministration be under your divine directive. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you for everything you have done. Thank you, it Jesus. is sealed and settled. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' comfortable name, I pray amen i say in jesus comfortable name i pray amen ladies and gentlemen uh, beloved listeners out there that are under the unction of this voice right now as i told you i'm about to minister or i'm ministering a message that the spirit of god helped me to tie to the mistake generations make about blessing especially father's blessing so put it benight and underline it i want to preach about father's blessing the mistake that generation makes about father's blessing permit me to say this many people today in the world are struggling are not fulfilling their destiny because they lack father's blessing many people today think it's going against them because they lack father's blessing many people today have lost their calling have lost their way because they lack father's blessing ladies and gentlemen permit me to say this in the womb of any father there is a blessing in the womb of any father there is a blessing that is supposed to release upon the head of the son and the daughter but many people many fathers are dying without blessing their children yes, sir. i want to turn the captivities around by this world at the lord god has ministered to me to put it out to you so that you your very self as you are under the unction of this voice after this service you will reconcile with your father and you will know the basic truth of life as how the spirit leads by the special grace of god as i told you i want to minister a message that the spirit of god helped me to tie to the mistakes generations make about blessing especially father's blessings ladies and gentlemen there is a far difference between a blessing and blessings oh you don't understand me or you don't get me well there are difference between blessing and blessings blessings are what you see and blessing is what make you see the blessings that you have now i repeat myself again blessings are what you see and blessing is what make you see the blessing that you have now. Rakoto, one of the dangerous 
surface on earth is for the, for you for a man to allow his father died without a blessing blessing simply means the ability the power to prosper i repeat myself again blessing simply means the ability the power to prosper Shude brakaya sokoto brakaya mandogo dosi de de bikaya zugo de de ya blessing many people are operating on that cases and that's why things is not working for them many people today have been ignorant of blessing and they are suffering today because of curses ladies and gentlemen show me a man that has made an edgeway travel to america and come back with nothing i will show you that man that is living on curses without father's blessing show me a man that have been struggling and struggling and struggling yet still nothing is working and i will tell you that this man needs father's blessing you may not understand it now but as i go into details of this ministration you will catch up the revelation because if you lack revelation ladies and gentlemen you will not see your salvation and you will suffer suffocation by the special grace of god as the lord administered to me blessings have no respect blessing and causes have no respect for location Yes, sir. you don't get me well blessing and causes have no respect for location show me a man who is cursed who they have released curse upon his head even though the man traveled to america i will tell you that man will come back without making nothing show me a man who has father's blessing show me a man that is blessed that they always bless him that i re receive father's blessing even if you take that man send him to the to, to the remote village to a village where there is no way nothing nobody know about that place i will tell you give that man three days or three months or six months with father's blessing he will make it up you may not understand this as i told you inter earlier that blessings are different from blessing blessings are what you see but blessing is what make you see what you have now many people are operating under curses that's why nothing is working that's why they are not multiplying because blessing make you to multiply blessing makes a man to grow faster blessing makes a man that that that, that even when respective of location because blessing make you a king because wherever a king sits there is a throne you may say oh prophet joseph i don't know which message is this you are just preaching today which you haven't yet understand you i told you you can argue with anything but you cannot argue with an evidence as i deeply told you that blessings are the things you have are the things you see but blessing is what makes you see the things you have and the things you see the reason why these things are not manifesting the reason why these things are not working because lack of blessing ladies and gentlemen i want to take you back to your beginning so that you will encounter blessing tonight i want to take you back to your beginning as i told you you can argue with anything but you cannot argue with an evidence so as the spirit administered to me to take you back to your beginning that's why even the scripture is gonna take you back to the beginning of the bible genesis i want to make reference as i preached the other day if you have been following me up my programs there was a day that i preached a message that title rokoto sige the evil trace in the bloodline i want to minister now this message that title the mistake generation make about blessing especially father's blessing turn with me to the book of genesis chapter number one verses one dan was if you are with your bible as i told you you can argue with anything but you cannot argue with an evidence please ladies and gentlemen as you are under the unction of this voice if i will have been you under the unction of this voice now take out your pen your paper so that you will, you, you, you will make ink on paper because if you are good in pen tonight you will make a volume of a book 
Lobroko yobi kasaya. If you are good in pen, in handwriting, you can make a volume of a book tonight. I want you to open your Bible, ladies and gentlemen, and take up the scripture. Begin to read for me from Genesis chapter number one, verses one downwards. Genesis 1. Yes, sir. Verse 1. Verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven. In the beginning, God, God created, created the, the heaven. And the earth. And the earth. Mm -hmm. Which even the primary school students know this scripture. Which even our nursery school children, peoples know the scripture. A scripture that the people only see the scripture, but they are not seeing the future that lies in this scripture. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says in the beginning. Yes, brother. Now the earth was formless and empty. The earth was formless and empty. Ladies and gentlemen, as I told you, underneath of, of, of the title of my, of, my, of, of my preaching, of my sermon this evening is Father's Blessing. What is this trying to say in the beginning? The Bible says what? In the beginning. God created the heaven and the earth. God created the heaven and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. The earth was formless and empty. Ladies and gentlemen, in the beginning, you were formless and empty. You were nowhere to be found until God created and blessed the womb of your father and your mother so that you will come out. I don't know whether I'm giving a good revelation to this. Yes, sir. I, I, I hope you will understand me well. The Bible says, this is trying to quote for you to get me well, that in any womb of a father, there is a blessing that is deposited for a son. In the beginning, you are nowhere to be found. You didn't know, they didn't even know if brother Bwake or brother, brother Dikba or bro, bro, brother Tamba will come. They didn't know it was your father that gave that to you and give you that name, brother Dikba or brother Tamba. Let me don't go before the scripture, yes, brother, so that listeners will understand. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. Darkness was over the surface, surface of, the, of deep. the deep. For mature people, that the spirit will lead tonight to understand the scripture. I don't want to go into that details, but you will understand that in the beginning, darkness was upon you. You are nowhere to be found until God created your father and your mother. They jumped together and something happened. You came out. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are moving without father's blessing, go back for your blessing. I am coming. I am not in deep for this message, but Jesus in Himself says, "Ye who have ears to hear, let, let them hear. hear." Oh, there was a day in the book of Matthew that the disciples came to Jesus. They said, "Jesus, why always did you preach in a parable?" And Jesus said, "For some, they will listen, they will hear, but they will not understand." Yes, oh, my message is based on this one by the special grace of God that you will hear this, but you will not understand. But I guess and I pray that by the Spirit of the Holy Ghost, you will understand this scripture before it ends, and you will know exactly what to do after this ministration yes, sir. Hmm. yes brother and the spirit of god was over the waters and the spirit of god was over, was the, waters. over the waters continue brother. and god said and god said let there, be, let there light. be light and there was light and there was light god saw that the light was good god saw that the light was good ladies and gentlemen i don't want to hold you much I want to preach this message if you continue that scripture because there are a lot we need to learn but because of time let me see how best I can manage myself to squeeze this time so that we arrived before you go to bed ladies and gentlemen as you under the unction of this voice the Bible says in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth God said let there be light and there was light God created this God created that God made this God made that after everything that God has created God knew he need that these things I must not just create them like this I need to bless them yes, sir. I don't know what I'm communicating here yes, sir. I must not just have all these things uh, without blessing go to that same Genesis go verse go down go down go down go down go down go down to verse 1 or 2 after all the creation after all God has created everything after everything as you are saying he created the light the moon the sun the day he created everything after he thought that everything was good and he now said yes brother verse 22 22 yes sir God blessed them and said God what God blessed he them he blessed them and said what and said and said be fruitful be fruitful and increase in number and increase in number, in number. 
and fill the waters in the sea and fill the waters in the field ladies and gentlemen a lot of people tonight they are moving oh they have gone elsewhere where their father never released a blessing and said be fruitful be multiply go and be blessed you may try to argue but don't worry i am coming i will learn so that you will understand exactly what this means as the lord administered to me the lord bless after he has have everything having everything after he has made everything the lord release a blessing as a father he bless everything he said be blessed be fruitful be multiply go how many people how many father are saying to their children even when their children are going to school be a blessed be fruitful be multiply i am coming i am coming let me don't put the cart before the horse let me don't run faster than the scripture yes brother continue and let the birds increase on the earth. Let the birds what? Increase. increase. This earth. is the Lord God Almighty that is releasing blessing upon his own handmaid. How many fathers today are releasing blessing upon their own blood, their own children, their own sons and daughters? Brother, if you are under the unction of this voice, you lack father's blessing after this ministration. I won't tell you what to do, but I do believe the Spirit of God will tell you exactly what next to do. Yes, brother. And there was evening, and there was morning. And there was evening, and there was morning. The fifth day. Leave that scripture. Let's go to verse chapter, chapter 3. We are going with this one at a time. Go to the same Genesis chapter number 3, verses 12, 11 to 12. Let's say something. 311 yes sir and he said and he said who told you that you we are naked who told you that we are you we are, are naked. naked ladies and gentlemen of course you understand and i do believe you must understand the story of adam and eve after when god have blessed everything god created a man adam and eve and placed them in the garden see a man that is moving with curses and see a man that is moving with a blessing after the lord god have created the garden the eden and bless and say you will be fruitful you will be multiplied you will bless you with this after that adam enter adam and eve and the lord instructed them the lord said do this he said with all these things i have given unto you all the trees in the garden the food the animals have dominion over them he said but of this tree you must not touch the reason why god says to adam and if that they must not touch is like they must be under the command of god they must be under control that no matter what there must be a limitation how many people today that they don't have any limitation they do what they feel and they do what they like ladies and gentlemen the reason why god said this one you must not touch because god wants somebody to obey him God wants somebody, not only because if God permits you to do everything accordingly, you will have no regard, you will have no respect, you will not come back to God. As at now, people don't know God, they are doing evil. But this is not a ministration. I am coming because the Lord is preparing me a message that I will minister next week, Wednesday, by the special grace of God. This message, I don't care. I'm a plain preacher, I will preach it. Let me just hang up and continue with this one now. As you are under the unction of this voice. Because this is your prophet, a firebomb preacher, the plain preacher. The Lord said, after the Lord has blessed Adam and Eve, give them everything to have dominion over it. And Satan enter and tempt. And the Lord gave them commandment. That was all. It was not the time of Moses that commandment started. It was the time of Adam and Eve. God commanded them, this one, don't touch. Take everything, but this one, don't touch. And they say no. And the Lord placed his causes on them what are the causes yes brother because of time who told you that you are naked after when god has instructed them don't eat the fruit don't eat this one you must not touch ladies and gentlemen the reason why god do that because he want them to be under control and after that the devil lucifer entered into the life of that woman the woman called eve he said eat so that your eyes will open how many people today the devil lucifer has entered them kill somebody so that you will get power kill somebody they allowed them they allowed the devil to enter them go and loot go and
and kill somebody because of power, because of money. Don't worry, I am coming to that ministration, but next week, Wednesday. Look at the, 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 the terrible things we are hearing. Oh, look at the, the romance of war. What is this? Thing? The Lord says, The level Lucifer tempted Eve. He said, If eat this thing. <laughs> eat this thing eat so that you wise God don't want you to God don't want your eyes to be open yes, many people this are the way they are convincing them kill this person I will pay you money you don't want to make money make money go and do this go and do that they are doing it for it they are doing ritual for money they are doing prostitution for money they are doing certain things which is not written in the presence of God the Lord has, he said eat so that you will be rich that was what exactly Satan was saying to Eve. Eat so that you reach, so that your eyes will be open. Many people don't have content mind with all the things that they have. And yes, they, they, with all the fruits that they have in the garden, with everything that God gave them dominion over to control, yes, if it was not satisfied. And he said, eat. And a passing over to Adam. See how wickedness increase from this to this. If you don't try to stop it, after this, what happened? And they saw themselves naked. Ladies and gentlemen, when you sin too much, you will see yourself naked. You will see yourself of no value, no respect. You will begin to do things that will bring disgrace. You will begin to do things that people will, will, will even despise you to look at you and say, look at this person, look at what... Even your leadership will, 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 be, so, will be so fragile. Everything about you will just mix up because you do not commit things in God's hands. You are not ruling by God's power. You are not ruling according to the wisdom. That's why I like Solomon. Solomon asked for divine wisdom so that we know how to handle, how to walk by it. Huh? Ladies and gentlemen, show me a man that is out of God's spirit, God's direction. And I will tell you that that man is doing ritual. Because any man that is not with God is with the devil. This is, these are two things involved. But next week, of course, I preached a message the other day that titled, Who else is happy? But I think God is about to give me another one for next week, Wednesday. And the Lord said, If Adam, Adam, where are you? Adam said, I am naked. How many people today have disowned their father, has disobeyed their father, and their father have released cause? Ladies and gentlemen, two things. Let me, I don't want to go out of scripture, out of my message, out of the content. So let me just draw myself back. I'm preaching about the generation, the mistake the generation make about blessing, especially father's blessing. Because there is these two things that is affecting men on earth, that is affecting the whole generation, curses and blessing. Many people are operating under curses. That's why they, they, they struggle and struggle. Yesterday, they are not making it. Even when they offend their father, ladies and gentlemen, in any womb of a father, there is a blessing and there is a curse. If you allow your father not to give you a blessing, he will give you a curse. And if he give you a curse, he will walk until you go back for a blessing. Oh yes, until you go back for a blessing. Let me open your eye. After when they disobey their father, when the Lord God Almighty said, don't do this, and they saw themselves, they are naked, and God said, this time around, I will place curses on you. And God said, yes, brother, continue. Who told you you are naked? Have you eaten from the tree? Have you eaten from the tree? That I commanded you not that to I eat? That I commanded you not to eat? Then the man said. Then the man said. The woman you put here. The woman you put here. With me. Look at that. She gave me the fruit. She gave me the fruit. From the tree. And, and if I you read the scripture, it. the Bible did not tell us that God gave. Adam yes, requested. Yes, sir. Adam said, give me. And after when God gave Adam, God damn himself called him, this is the bones of my bones. Yes, sir. This is the flesh of my... And now when things has happened, he is now saying, well, the, the woman that you gave me has given, has done this to me. Ladies and gentlemen, don't, don't, don't be ignorant of the word of God. To say, oh, the person I have, the leader that I have had led me to do this. The people that I have had led me to this. Because of the, the, the crisis in the land have led me to do this. Because of the environment, because of the, the crisis, because of corruption have led me to do this. You need to step aside and come out. Step aside. There is a message that I want to preach tomorrow. Step aside. Hmm. If you don't want to miss heaven, step aside. Because there are two things involved. If you miss heaven, you will not miss hell. And yeah. You don't get me well. If you miss heaven, you will not miss hell. Yes, sir. Let me don't go before the scripture. Yes, brother. Disobedient. Many people did not even know Christ. Then the Lord God said to the woman. And the Lord God said to the woman. What is this you have done? So what is this that you have done? 
The woman said. The woman said. The serpent. The serpent. Me. See, blame upon blame. The serpent deceived me. Deceived me. And I ate. And I ate. So the Lord God said to the serpent, mm -hmm. "Because you have done this. Because you have done this. Because are you above all? Look at look at a, a, a woman that is operating on the curses. Because you have done this. Because yes." Cause are you above all the life? Cause are you above all, all the, the livestock? livestock? There are certain people they are, they curses upon their head. Even the livestock, the animals are better than they do. Yes, Stop asking that question. Even the animal now are happier than I do. What is wrong with me? Go back to your father and your mother. I'm coming. Go back to God. There is a message Sunday morning that I will preach. God cannot be inside you, and yet still the devil is with you. It don't. Yes, brother, let me time. Yes. And all the wild animals. And all the wild animals. You will crawl on you will crow. You will crow. On your belly. On your belly. And you will eat dust. And you will eat dust. This is the curse for the demon, the serpent that causes Adam to do this. All the days of your all life. All the days of your life. And I will I prophesy by the power of the almighty whoever is the cause of this ritual in this land or in the world today whoever is the cause cause me upon you you will eat dust dust will swallow you amen whoever is the cause of all the ritual the things the crisis and everything yes, sir. the corruption in the war yes, sir. the looting the killing yes, sir. i release this curse upon your head in the name of jesus amen yes brother and I will put enmity. And I will put enmity between you and the woman. Between you and the woman. And between your offspring. And in between your offspring. And herbs. Causes. Yes, brother. Continue. He will crush your head. He will crush your head. And you will strike his head. And you will strike every demonic people in our community, in our land, in our society, in the world. Fat that hear ye my voice that I stand under your divine authority as you release curse crush their head now Amen. crush their head now Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. Holy Spirit I stand in the gap as you are only looking for a man that will stand in the gap oh Rakoto the Philistines who are these uncircumcised Philistines uh, hmm. that are creating problem in our land uh, that are creating problem in the world who are david said i will go little as i am yes, i may be tiny before you yes, but i'm more than 40 foot container in the inside oh rakoto si gede brakaya anointing is not by volume anointing is not in shouting but yes, anointing is in the word yes, and this is the word here is the word of god that by the power of the holy ghost a david stood out to stand goliath and stop this rubbish i stand as david in our land yes, in our community yes, in our society yes, to cut off every goliath that ready to bring destruction amen. that's ready to bring rebellion amen. in the name of jesus i crush them in the name of jesus amen. not by might not by power but oh, by, by the spirit, spirit of god so yes, shall it be in the name of jesus amen libra kaya sakaya yes brother to the woman he said to the woman he said i will greatly increase your pain i will greatly what increase, increase your pain ladies and gentlemen since god released that curses he said i will greatly release your pain increase your pain increase in increase child, your pain in, in childbearing. childbearing till that women are going through pain in childbearing see causes hmm no matter the environment whether you find yourself in america where there are great doctors yes, sir. god forbid there are no great doctors where there are physicians doctors that knows their work yes sir you will still see pain no matter where you find yourself that's why i tell you causes and blessings have no respect for location show me somebody that is caused even if you send him to germany to america to holland to london he will come back without making nothing yes sir show me a man that is blessed even if you send him to, to yeah bumper or oh yeah Call, call the local villages in Kono. Sir, Kokuma. Koku, ko, no, Koku, Kokuma is better. Show, <laughs> Le prekeya. Show me the local village that they will enter with blessing, he will make it. Sir. Le prekeya bakaya. Zegede. Show me. Show me. There is no dry land. There are only dry men. Sir. Men with curses. Ladies and gentlemen, 
men will curse. The Lord said to every woman, He said, You will go to pay. Look at curses. But there is one thing in the scripture that when God gave the spirit to Mary, the Bible did not tell me that Mary go through pain before he gave birth to Jesus. Yes, Even though the dragon would turn heads, if you read the book of Revelation, stand before Jesus, before Mary, yes, the Mary make, uh, make it and they overcome. Yes, and sir. because of Mary, Lucifer was driven. Yes, sir. If you read the book of Revelation, chapter number 12, verse 1, it will give you that account. Yes, sir. And what is this trying to say? If only with all this cause you come back to Jesus, you come back and be like Mary, you come back to your father for blessing, you come back for a blessing with all the curses you are going through, you will be set free. I don't know. I'm just laying my foundation, ladies and gentlemen, so that you will understand. I'm not in ministration here proper. I'm, pray I'm talking about father's blessings. Yes, brother, continue. With pain, you will. With pain, you will give birth to children. You will give birth. What is that? Curses. After when the Lord has blessed, the Lord released curses because of the disobeyed. How many people today has disobeyed their father and they are operating on the curses? How many people today don't care about their father and they are operating on the curses? How many people today, ladies and gentlemen, how many people? It doesn't matter whether your father is a drunker. It doesn't matter whether your father is not responsible. But your father has something that God gave that nobody can take from your father. Yes, and that is a father's blessing. You need to go back from your, to your father and collect that blessing before you walk with curses. Libra Kabo Saya. I am coming. I am not in this ministration proper. Look at that. So a woman began to go through curses. Yes, and no matter when you conceive, before you get bad, you must go suffer pain. Your yes, pain sir. will increase. That's why God placed that curses upon women until date. Women are going through pain in their labor. In yes, their yes, continue. What about the curses for the men? Continue, brother. Your desires will be for your husband. Your desire will be for your husband. And he will rule over you. And he will rule over you. To Adam he said. To Adam he said. Because you have listened to your wife. Because you listen to your wife. And ate from the tree. Because you listen to what they say. Go and do this. Uh, go and do harm. And you go and do. Yes. And eat from the fruit. Yes. About which I commanded you. Which I commanded you not to eat. You Continue. must not eat of it. Yes. Cause is the ground. Cause because is the of ground. you. Because of you. Cause is what? A ground. The ground. Because of you. Because Look of at you. that. Through painful toy. Through painful toy. You will eat of it. You will eat of it. Look at that. Curses. The man is operating on the curses. Ladies and gentlemen. But when Christ came back for resurrection. When Christ came back to the life. And God began to bless people. What does this mean? If only you can come back to me. I will release blessing. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen. And God gave Abraham. God took Abraham. He said come back from your take on. Come from your kindred. Come from your father's house. And I will show you a land where you will settle. And I will bless you. When God blessed Abraham. Abraham. And became Abraham. Abraham. Ladies and gentlemen. After that blessing. Abraham understood that there are a father's blessing. And Abraham gave back to, to, to Isaac. And when Abraham gave back to Isaac. Abraham. When Abraham was about to give up the ghost. When Abraham was about to die. With all the riches that Abraham had. Abraham did not say. Oh my son Isaac. You know I am old. I want to die now. I'm about to go down. So what you can do. All this inheritance. All my property belongs to you yes, the mistake people make they only make will but they are not blessing their children yes sir look at abraham with all the wealth abraham yet needed to bless isaac before he died yes sir let's go to scripture ladies and gentlemen about all god curses man and men were operating on the curses but when men come back to god and god love men god love abraham and call him and make him father of many nations today we are saying the blessing of abraham isaac and of jacob why did this thing exist and why did this thing work out it's because of father's blessing yes, let's go to this same genesis turn with me to the book of genesis 24 24 verses 1 Genesis chapter number 24 verses 1 so that we understand exactly what the prophet is saying and what the spirit of God ministered to me 24 verse 1 24 verse 1 Abraham was now old the Bible says after God have settled Abraham after God have gave Abraham the blessing after God took Abraham from Canaan after God took Abraham from, from his father's house and bring him to a land after everything God has blessed Abraham was now old enough Abraham was about to give up the ghost Abraham said I will not die 
without depositing a blessing in the life of my child my children there is something very significant that i want you to get in this scripture genesis chapter number 24 verses 1 down was read from this new english standard my brother so that people will understand it well like i think it's more understandable yes sir now abraham was old now the bible says abraham was old well advanced in age well advanced in age and the lord had blessed abraham and the all lord things. has blessed abraham in all things in all things listen ladies and gentlemen no matter the blessing your father has have, don't have don't allow your father to die without blessing you no matter look at what the bible says the bible says god bless abraham in everything there are certain people they are only praying for their father to die so that they will inherit their property they are not praying that their father will release their blessing yes sir many are fighting for their father's property they are fighting for family's property but who is a son or a daughter or a child in that family that is crying and fighting for the father's blessing yes sir look it here the bible says uh, abraham carry age was old advanced in age uh, and the lord bless him in all that he had yes sir so abraham said to the S oldest servant so abraham called the oldest servant of his house of his house who ruled over all that he had who ruled over all that he had because at that time there was no no children no child yes sir please so he hand. make him ruler but after that when isaac came when isaac stepped in the lord said abraham said i will not die if i did not settle my son Sorry. i will not die so he called his old dead servant he said go go in search of a wife so that i will bless my son i will give him a wife i will bless it let's see yes brother he said he said please please put your hand under my height put your hand under my teeth yes and I will make you. And I will make you. Swear by by the Lord. Swear by the Lord. And God of heaven and the God of the earth. And God of heaven and God of the earth. That you will not take a wife for my son. That you will not take what a wife, a wife for, my, for son. my son. Look at that. Abraham was old, but he was still guiding his son. He was only was about to die, but he was still guiding. He called his old servant. He said, "Servant, swear to me now, swear to God that you will not take a, a wife from another town or, or even from my village to give to my son Isaac." Mm. Abraham prepared everything, ladies and gentlemen, by virtue of fact. Allow your father even to find you a wife. Yes, sir. I know we are in a civilized world, but permit me to say, if you did not allow your father to find you a wife, you don't have problem. You might be okay, but don't allow your wife to come against your father. You need father's blessing. Yes, sir. Don't allow your wife to beat you down for your father. You need your father's blessing. Lekete brikaya bakaya. I can see how many people they are in relationship that with, with, with no father-in-law how did it mean you can see certain brother certain sister they are behind certain brother that they don't have nowhere to complain them yes sir they don't even have respect for their father yes, sir even if they dis disown them or they Orakotobikaya. the father of isaac said he said my son go and bring after everything when abraham has settled for time's sake because if you read that whole scripture for time's sake abraham sent and called for a wife and after everything abraham blessed isaac and his wife go to the same scripture go to verse 60. let's begin to see something verse 16. begin verse 57. Lege de brakaya, su de ya. 57. yes sir so they said so they said after when abraham has sent his servant uh, to go and bring wife for his son uh, after when they, they have fulfilled after when the man of struggle struggle go in and bring Re rebecca as a wife to, to isaac after he has pleasing abraham ladies and gentlemen you need to please your father so that your father will release a blessing upon your head no matter how it is you need to please your father it might not be that your father will find a wife to you for you but when you find a wife or whatever you do in your undertakings please your father so that your father will not die with the blessing that god deposits in his life i want you to listen and listen well whether you are under the unction of this voice you need your father's blessing don't allow causes to make you miss everything about your life 
Don't allow causes to make you being a hater, become a hater. That because it's not working for you, you are operating under causes and others are operating under Father's blessing and divine blessing. They are working and you become a hater to their progress. Hate to prosperity. You need to go for Father's blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to take Father's blessing. After the years, verse 57, sir. 57. Yes, after they have pleasing their father. So they said. So they said. We will call the young woman. We will call the young woman. And ask her personally. And ask her what? Personally. personally. After the Lord, Abraham have sent the servant. When the servant have now found the wife to bring the wife to Abraham for Isaac. What happened? The wife did not only leave the house. They went to their sister, to their family, and the wife that they were about to take for Isaac went to their father's house. And, father, and, and when they understood that they are about to go, what happened? They began to bless Rachel. They said, Rachel, we know you are going. They have come for you. You are going. We are praying for your blessing. What do yes, you continue, continue that scripture? Then they called Rebecca. And then they called Rebecca. Her. Rebecca, sorry. Rebecca and said to her. And said to Rebecca. Will you go with this man? Will you go with this man? And she said, And she said, I will go. I will go. Listen, there is something I want every ladies, every gas, every mature woman to understand in this scripture. This one is for you. When they came for Rebecca in Rebecca's house, they asked Rebecca, Rebecca, are you ready to go with them? To any woman that they will not come for you in your house and ask whether you are willing to go with that man, you must encounter error at, at the end of the day. Wow. To any woman that will leave for married and you do not encounter and take the final respect, final blessing from your house and go to your married house, if you are not be careful, you will come back. They asked Rebecca. They said, Rebecca, the family of Rebecca. I mean the brother, the sister. They call Rebecca. They said, Rebecca, come. Are you willing to go with them? And what did Rebecca say? Say, I will go. He said, I will go. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, how many women today are in their married places? Are in their marital life? Which their father and their mother are against their relationship. And yes, they don't care. Yes, sir. That's why at the end we have problem. How many of you? Are under the unction of this voice that you say you don't care listen what the bible says you may say they are fighting your relationship your father don't like that relationship your mother encourage them bet them give them word of cancellation please them so that they will bless you but don't just live half hazardly don't just live because you want to live and say let them do what they want to do you are going that is your man you need to understand that you must you must accept to them and they need to bless you before you go if you do, do not bless you you must operate you might operate under error this is the mistake our sisters are making today in terms of relationship. That's why they will go. It will start. Oh, they will say they spend in their marriage how many billions and they return back. Within the blink of an eye, everything just scatter. Because they did not allow their father and their mother to bless them before they left. If you are under the unction of this voice after this service, because you are in service with me now, go back for a blessing. They asked Rebecca, Rebecca, and I believe everyone we ask, everyone, except parents that do not love their children, but every parent that love their children must first ask their children. Not because of money, that because you see somebody come with billions of pounds or moving with jeeps and come say, I want your child, I want your daughter, I want to marry your daughter, and you begin to give without asking the consent of the woman. It must be an agreement. Your daughter must agree, and you, the father, must agree and bless. When they have seen Rebecca, they ask Rebecca, the family, the brothers, the sisters, and I don't believe the father. They ask Rebecca, Rebecca, are you ready to go with them? Rebecca says, yes, I will. And after when Rebecca says, yes, I will, what happened? They began to bless Rebecca. Continue the scripture. So they sent away Rebecca. So they sent away Rebecca. Their sisters and her nurse. Their sisters and her nurse. And Abraham's servant. And Abraham's servant. And his men. And his men. And they blessed Rebecca and, and said they what? to her. They, they blessed, blessed Rebecca, Rebecca and, and said, said to her, her. Our sister. Our sister. May you, may you become the mother of thousands of ten thousand. May you become the mother of thousands and of ten thousand. How many people today are leaving their house finally? Their houses finally. So their marital life are taking this blessing home. Mm. 
are taking this blessing in their father's house, in their marriage, from their father's house to their marriage alive. They say, Rebecca, as you have agreed to be with that man, but there are certain family. Oh, as I am ministering, the Lord is saying, he is administering to me that there are that there is a particular woman that is under the unction of this voice and a father that they are they are they are under serious tussle. The woman is saying, I don't want that man, and the man is and the father is saying, You must go there by force. Sir. This is not by that. It is not by that. It must be an agreement. Father, agree with your daughter, and daughter, agree with your father. In one agreement, so that we go with blessing. Yes, Don't force your child to go. Don't force your daughter to go. Understand this word. I am coming. I mean, I'm talking about blessing. If you only force them, the blessing may not act. Let it be a concrete agreement, so that the blessing. How many people today, if your father is not alive, your spiritual father is around. I am coming to that. I am talking about father's blessing. It, the, the mistake generations make about blessing, especially father's blessing. And that's why the world today is very is operating on that causes. Things are just going the way it's not supposed to go. We are living in the world as if we are yet fugitive. We are living under under certain rulership as if we are living under the rulership of Pharaoh. Uh, as if the, the, the Israelites are still under the, the, the Egyptians. Uh. But I thank God that I came today that by the power of the Holy Ghost, yes, sir. I stand as an oracle and to echo the voice of the Almighty. Hear ye yes, the word sir. of God. Oh, I came as another Moses yes, to set the Egyptians free and that the Israelites to step the Israelites free from the Egyptians that this country, this town may turn back, may become Israel and we must enjoy the fruit of this land yes, and we must enjoy the land that is filled with milk mm -hmm. and honey. Yes, yes brother continue he said may you made many generations how many fathers today are blessing their fat their, their daughter when they are going in their marriage alive yes, so sir. say let one or two thousand generations come from your womb hmm. yes brother and may your descendants possess and may your descendants what possess, possess the gate of those who hate them the gate of those who hate them many people are not given this blessing but they possess witchcraft rather than to possess to bless their daughters and their sons to possess the gate above the enemy so that they will shut up the mouth of the enemies what they are doing is to possess them about witchcraft yes brother continue sir then rebecca and her maid then rebecca and her maid arose they arose and they rolled on the camels and the rolled on the camel and followed the man and they followed the man so the servant took rebecca so the servant took rebecca and, and departed what? and departed now, ladies and yes continue now isaac became now isaac came from the way of if you continue Bar. that scripture for time please i'm just trying to test you half beat a bit so that we capture something and you are very self as i told you as i'm giving this thing you will take in as i told you earlier if you are good in pe in pen or in handwriting you can make a volume of a book by the special grace of god so you need to connect yourself read the scripture after this ministration you will take your private time and go over them so that you will have time because we don't have time to finish it all so that i will just give you bit by bit so that you will understand and we we'll land to conclusion as the content of this message so that we understand exactly what the prophet is trying to preach this evening by the special grace of God. And the Bible says, after they are blessed and they moved, they left. But permit me to say this, originally the womb of Rebecca was buried, but because of that prayer in the future, it activated and Rebecca became fruit fruitful. You might left your family house buried, but with the prayer from the family house for your especially from your father, your mother, your brothers are happy. They pray about it. You will definitely make it. But how many people today? Parents are against their daughters, daughters are against children, brothers are against. So there are certain brothers. Look at this. Their brothers, Rebecca brothers, were praying for, for her. But there are certain brothers and sisters. They don't even want the marriage to happen. They are going against, preparing to scatter it. Lige de brakaya. So, this is your prophet, oh, prophet Joseph. Yes, brother. Let's go. After everything, when Rebecca, when they have found Rebecca, and it has pleasing the heart of Abraham, when they bring Rebecca to Abraham and Isaac, Abraham said to them, arrange them. Well, Abraham blesses that. Let's go to chapter 25. Jump to chapter 25. Chapter 25, not verse 25. Chapter 25. 25. 25. Yes, verse 1. Abraham again took. A wife. Abraham again what? Took, Took a, wife. a wife. And the name was Kectoria. Kectoria. 
Abraham again took a wife. But listen, before Abraham again took that wife, he has already blessed and settled Isaac. Yes, he took Rebecca, a wife, and Rebecca gave Abraham more than five daughters, more than five children. Yes, brother, continue. I know the names may be too hard, but just go, 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 go. And she bought, <laughs> and she bought him. She bond to him. Yes, Zimbra. Uh huh. Continue. She bought him Zimbra. Uh huh. Give me, give, give me the Bible. Let me help you, please. Lokoto Brakaya. Zilabra. The Bible says, Abraham again took a wife, and her name was Ketura, and she bore him Zemran, Zokhan, Madian, and Midian, Ashbak, and Sheha. Zokhan begot Sheba and Danda, and the sons of Dindan were Ashram. A Letuam and Le Leomin. And the sons of Midian were Ephraim, Epha, Henoch, Abadad, and Edad. All this we are the children of Kectura. Yeah. Now listen what the Bible says. All this we are the children of Kectura for Abraham. Yes, you may say my father have many wives yes, and many children but the problem about the mistake that children make be immediately when they began to understand that their father has another children and they are now fighting how to incur and secure the property rather than the blessing i don't know whether i'm communicating to somebody yes sir abraham listen abraham gave back to isaac Abraham gave back to Ishmael from another mother. Abraham gave back to all these sons as you as you had for for, for, for from who? Kekturia. From Kekturia. That's why if you are under the sound of my voice, you are called Kekturia. Try change that name. Yes, sir. Because Kekturia is just addition to as a mate. Yes, if, if, if you find out the meaning for Kekturia, it's only to give back for it, it's, a, it's an option, another yeah. option. Kectura, the meaning of Kectura, another option. Just like when you have Sundu, Sundu, Dirty Box. You know, there are certain names when they get. Anyway, I will give you the name why I am called Joseph. Joseph means addition. addition. I, will, I will come to that later. You will know why the boy is making it and why uh, the, the, the prophetic and the, the ministration is so sound. G try to get a name, and after this, I will give you a name by the special grace of God to everyone that is under the unction of this voice. The Bible says, Abraham. Again, again, took a wife. Meaning, Abraham was having three wives. But what concerned all the children, most of them, I do believe, they were fighting for the property. But Abraham only blessed Isaac. That's why Isaac make it more than all the children. Look at that. Oh, Keturah gave back to all these children. For who? Abraham. For Abraham. At the old age. Yes, sir. For Abraham. Yes, brother. Continue that scripture. I think the most difficult part have gone. Yes, sir. But Abraham gave gifts to the sons of the concubines. Of, of the concubines. That is Ketura and the woman. Not Sarah, by the special grace of God. So the concubines, the mother of Ishmael, and the mother and, and Ketura, by the special grace of God. Hear what the Bible says. He only gave them what? Gifts. gifts. But he did not bless them. What shall it profit you if your father gave you five houses and did not give you blessing? If you are not be careful, you will sell all the house and you remain with nothing because you are not blessed. Yes, sir. Blessing is meant for increase because the Lord said, be fruitful and multiply. multiply. He said, I will bless you so that it will be fruitful and multiply. So when you are blessed, one can turn to five. Yes, sir. That's why you can see two turn to four. I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. Yes, sir. So to Ketura and his children... Abraham only gave them gifts and he did not pray for them. That's why if you continue to the Bible, you cannot hear from them. You only hear about Abraham, Abraham Isaac, and, and of Jacob. Jacob. Why? Because they were very wise to be blessed. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, you are under the sound of this voice. If they are fighting you for family property, go in for the blessing. They will not fight you for blessing. If you are blessed, nobody will fight you. They will fight, but they will not succeed. I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. Yes, go back for your blessing. Your father may give you the house. Your father may give you the car. Your father may give you everything. But if your father did not give you blessing, your father will die and watch we walk mind you that will be a day you will go in for visa if you have no blessing you will not make it 
Mind you, there will be a day you will go in for something for a job. If without blessing, you will not make it. Maybe there will be a day you will travel. Your father is not around. And mind you, even if your father gives you a house, your father will not travel with a, you will not travel with a house. Yes, sir. And if you lack blessing, you will still travel to another place and you still see yourself sleeping in the park. Yes, sir. Why? Because you lack blessing and you are going through curses. Abraham, the other, the, the, the wives of the concubines, the daughters of the from the concubines, he did not lay hands on them and bless them. That was a mistake. He only gave them gifts. If you want the car, I do believe you take it. Yes, sir. <laughs> that is gift. It's your gift. If you take that house that is in Freetown, it's your gift. Yes, sir. Okay, the one that is in Kono, take it. Yes, sir. Okay, no, it was only give, he was only giving them gifts, forgetting that. The gifting sometimes may lead to shifting. Yes, sir. You don't get me well. Mm. If you lack blessing, your gifting will shift. We end up in shifting. And you will not make it up in lifting. Le brekea bakaya. Zidigede blessing. Father's blessing. Father's blessing. The mistake generation make. Many people are dying. The moment they heard that their father is sick, all they can do, they want to secure the, 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 the document for the land. All they can do, rather than to pray, to be with their father, that the last dying minute, the father will release blessing upon them. You need the father's blessing. Abraham only gave the other sons, the other daughters gift, but Isaac, he bless. Continue that scripture, brother. After when he has given them blessing, after when he has blessed Isaac and the other sons from the concubines, he only give them gifts and Abraham finally died. Sir. Where? Where will the others get the blessing? They, they, they go with gift, but I do believe the gift failed away. Yes, brother, continue. Which Abraham had. Which Abraham had. And which he was still living. And which he was still living. He sent them Eastward. He sent them eastward. Away from Isaac. Away from Isaac. His son. His son. To the country of the east. To the country of the east. This is the sum of the year, the years which Abraham lived. This is the sum of the years which Abraham lives. One hundred and seventy-five. Years. One hundred and seventy-five years. Then Abraham brethren. Then Abraham brethren. His last and his. He breathed. Yes. His last and death. His last and death. In a good old age. In a good what? Old, old age. age. Yes. An old an old man and full of years. Full of years. And was gathering to his people. Yes. And his sons Isaac. His son Isaac. And Ishmael. And Ishmael. Buried him they buried him. In the cave of Mash. Yes. <laughs> he buried him. Listen, ladies and gentlemen. Isaac and Abraham and, 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 and Ishmael, they buried their father. But the Bible did not tell me that Ishmael, that Abraham blessed Ishmael before he died. The Bible only tell me that give them gifts and separate them. But to Isaac, he blessed. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, don't allow your father to die without a blessing. Your father has a blessing for you. After that, what happened? Yes, brother, continue. Verse what now? Verse 9. Yes. Okay, now verse 10. Yes. The field which Abraham purchased. Go to verse 11. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. After the death of Abraham. After the death of Abraham now. That God blessed his son. That God Isaac. blessed his son, Isaac. Look at that. Isaac. God what? Bless his God son. bless his son Isaac. Isaac. You see blessing? And after this you did not hear about the concubines, the wife of Keturah. Yes, Neither Ishmael. You only hear now about Isaac. Isaac. The Lord bless Isaac. Yes. Why? Before, because before the father died, he first bless Abraham. Isaac. Yes, sir. Abraham first what? Bless yes. Isaac. So now because of the blessing upon the father's blessing, so when Isaac called upon God for anything, God will bless because he's moving with father's blessing. Father's so blessing. he will be blessed. Yes, sir. So God bless Isaac because his father's first bless. I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. Take this one. Whether you believe it or you leave it, you must take it. Yes, brother. Continue. And the Lord bless Isaac. Yes. And it came to pass. And it came after to pass. After the death of Abraham. After the death of Abraham. God bless his son, Isaac. Isaac. 
and Isaac dwell at Bel. Look at that. The Bible says God bless his son, Isaac. The Bible did not tell me that God bless his son, Ishmael. The Bible did not tell me that God bless Abraham's children. The Bible did not tell me that God bless Keturah's children. It's the right. Bible only tell me that God bless Isaac. Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, don't make that mistake. Why? Because Abraham agreed with God that Isaac will be blessed. For the other children, he gave them gifts. Ladies and gentlemen, your father may give you the house plan. But if you don't have your father's blessing, you may end up to sell that house. Yes, sir. Your father may leave everything, make the will, and give you everything. If you do not take the blessing of your father, everything will go down to drill if you are not be careful. This is what exactly the Lord is saying. The Bible says, after the death of Abraham, the Lord blessed Isaac. The Bible did not tell me that the Lord blessed Ishmael as well. The Bible did not tell me that God blessed... Oh, the Bible will not be partial. The Bible will have said, the Lord blessed Isaac, Abraham's children. But he was specific. Why? Because Abraham himself was specific. No matter what, um, no matter how your fathers have, or others that do not care about your father, you care about your father and take your blessing. Sir. No matter how others are turning away from their father, you go back to your father, take your blessing. He's your father. Your father is your father. In any womb of a father, there is a blessing which no man can take, only your father can give. Yes, sir. No matter how your father is a drunkard, it's not of your business. No matter how your father is, is not serious, is useless, go for the blessing. He is your father. Nothing can change it. You will never be older than your father. You will never give back. The, the table will not turn. That is the only thing that God makes that the table will not turn. He said, Father, turn. Let me burn my father now. Mm. That table will not turn. Go back for your father's blessing. Yes, I don't know whether I'm communicating to my sons and daughters under the unction of this voice. Yes, go sir. back for father's blessing. And the Lord said, the Lord bless Isaac. Yes, brother, continue. Now, this is the generation of Ishmael. Of Ishmael. Mm -hmm. Abraham's son. Abraham's son. Who Hegai the Egyptians. Who Hegai what? The, the Egyptians. Egyptians. Look at that. Who Hegai the Egyptians. All what you can hear is just about Brugwaka. Why? Because there's no blessing. The Lord says, the Bible did not tell me that the Lord bless Isaac. It only said, this is what? The, 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 the genealogy. The genealogy. The genealogy of, of Ishmael. Ishmael. Ishmael from Egypt. Ishmael began Egypt. Ishmael this, Ishmael that. Call the account of the sons of, of Ishmael. Yes, brother. Continue. Syria's mid servant. Uh -huh. Bo to Abraham. Uh -huh. And Syria made servants that gave back to Abraham. Look at what all this thing is foolishness. Look at what they were describing Ishmael. Hmm. Syria's made Syria's uh, made servant. <laughs> Syria's made servant who gave back mistakenly gave back for Abraham. Look at how they were describing Ishmael. Why? Because they lack father's blessing. Look at how they were describing Ishmael. You'll take it or you leave it. This is what my Bible tells me, and this is what I will preach. I am a preacher. The Bible says, the Bible stand, and that is what the Bible says. You can argue with anything, but you cannot argue with an evidence. Turn with me to the book of uh, Oh Rakata. We are under the scripture of the book of Genesis, chapter 25. I think verse what now you are reading. Verse 12. Verse 12. It is not on my making, but from the scripture. I don't know whether it's in your Bible, but this is what the Bible is telling me. And this is a spiritual interpretation that the Lord tells me. Yes, brother, continue. Verse 13. Verse 13. And these we are the name of the sons of Ishmael. And these we are the names of the sons of Ishmael. By their names. By their names. According to their generation. According to their generation. Look all what the account of Ishmael we are giving is baseless, meaningless. Look at that. Ishmael is this. He, 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 his son, a he, 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 Syria made servant. Gave back, to, gave back for Abraham. Mm. And this is the account of his children. And from Egypt. And from that, that was all. Yes, brother. Verse 19. Go direct because I did 19. not see anything that I would that the Lord administered to me. Yes, continue. This is the genealogy of Isaac. Now, this is the genealogy of Isaac, Isaac Abraham's son. Abraham, you see what the Bible says. <laughs> <laughs> to, to Ishmael, he did not say Abraham, but to Isaac, he said, Look, this is the genealogy of Isaac, Abraham's son. Why? Because Abraham blessed him before he died, he did not only give gifts, but blessing. Others we are fighting for the gift. Others stick along the gift. But Abraham took the blessing. But Isaac 
took the blessing. Yes, brother, continue. He said this, Isaac, Abraham's son. Yes. And Abraham begot Isaac. Begot Isaac. Abraham begot Isaac. Isaac was 40 years old. Isaac was 40 years old. When he took Rebecca. When he took Rebecca. As wife. As wife. The daughter of Bezul. The daughter of what? Bezul. Bezul. The Syrian. The Syrian. Of Padian. Of Padian. Raman. Raman. The sister of Laban. The sister of Laban. Now Isaac pleaded. Now Isaac pleaded. With the Lord for his wife. With the Lord for his wife. Because she was barren. Because she was barren. And the Lord and the granted Lord granted his plea. His plea. Show me a man that is blessed. Whatever you ask God, you will receive it. Show me a man that has Father's blessing that is operating under Father's blessing. Whatever you ask God genuinely in prayer, God will grant you. Look at what the Bible says. The reason why the prayer was not prolonged. The reason why Isaac only request made a prayer request to God and God granted Isaac immediately. It was because the wife of Isaac, which is Rebecca, before he came, the blessing. Yes, sir. from the father's house yes, sir. and Isaac his father's blessing yes, sir. so blessing jumped together and produced the blessing of God yes, sir. I don't know whether I'm communicating yes, sir. so even though Rebecca her womb was closed but when Isaac prayed and the Lord granted Isaac and gave Rebecca, Rebecca Jacob yes, sir. I don't know whether I'm communicating here so, what is this trying to say? Show me a man that has blessing. Whatever little it may be, you start, it will increase. I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. Yes, sir. Oh, Rakotoshina, time is against me. I will try to scatter this one, but you understand. Let's go to chapter 26, 27. Let's go to 27 and read that account to see. 27 verse 1. 27 verse 1. Now it came to pass. Now it came to pass. When Isaac was old. When Isaac was old. Ladies and gentlemen, listen. I am still on Father's blessing. After when God blessed Abraham. Abraham, when he was old, before he died, he blessed Isaac as a son. And Isaac gave birth to Jacob. Because the scripture says, there are generation. Because the first pray. Before Re uh, uh, Rebecca left the father's house, they pray for Rebecca. They say, yes, may sir. generation comes. Thousands of generations come from your womb. Yes, sir. And when, Re even though Rebecca was buried, but because of that prayer yes, from sir. the father's house, or from the mother's house for Rebecca, and uh, even though Rebecca was buried, and blessing from Jacob, from, from, from Isaac, which was from the father, and and, and, and Isaac pray, and this generation automatically came up. Yes, sir. Because they say two generations in your womb. Yes, sir. And that is who? Isaac. Isaac and Jacob. And Jacob. Yes, sir. Two generations in your womb. Why? Because Isaac. even Abraham, Abraham, two generations was in the womb for Abraham. Yes, sir. See how blessing will pass on. Two generations. And that is Ishmael and Isaac. Yes, sir. But because of blessing, the blessing only pursue. Isaac. Isaac and yes, Isaac also two generation from Isaac. Isaac, yes sir. That is why sometimes even if you have paramount chief, you see they inherit these things. Yes sir. From this son to this one, from this one to this one. I don't know what I'm communicating to yes, somebody. Sir. Blessings. So when Isaac, when God bless Isaac, Isaac also two generation from his womb of blessing. And when Isaac have get back to, to Jacob and Esau, when these two generations have come out from Jacob and Esau, because it is written, that's what the Bible says. I know somebody will have said, you are only talking about father's blessing, but what about mother's blessing? You need your father's blessing, but your mother needs to choose whom the father will bless, so you need to walk back with your mother. Yes, sir. I am talking this for children that did not have respect for their father and their mother. For children that because they are now responsible feeding their father and their mother, they don't have any respect for them anymore. They talk to their, they speak to their father and their mother anyhow, any way they feel. This is for you. And to every mother and to every father that is under the unction of your voice, even though your children are sleeping now, wake them up. Let them be under the unction of this voice. Because the, 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 according to, 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 to revelation or according to experience, the book of experience make me to understand that if your children cannot even buy you a top up, a recharge card, which is 2000 that he has now, even if he have money to buy a car, he will not buy for you. You don't get me well. 
according to experience children a child that has something now even though he don't have nothing but with the little that he has he can say mama papa i send you bread i give you two thousand million support because at that level is your level oh if you can do that to your father and to your mother at this level permit me to say when god bless you to buy to, to a higher level you will give them car you will give them vehicle but if there is children that you have that even bread they cannot offer you at this time that they have nothing permit me to say even when they grow so they have money to build house for you they will not build i hope i am going with this ministration according to the spirit of god after when isaac when god blessed when abraham blessed isaac isaac gave back isaac understand the the, the, the blessing isaac understand isaac now grow old isaac understand that the reason why he succeeded among all his brethren among all the generation of abraham the reason why he make it up it was because his father did not only give him gift but blessing so he him himself decided that he will not die until because he has now grown old with all the riches he has he said i will not die but i will bless my children so what he did if you look the book of the account of genesis chapter 27 verse 1 the bible says isaac grow old the generation of isaac now isaac now grow old yes brother let me don't go before the scripture now it came to pass now it came to pass when isaac was old when isaac was old and his eyes we are doomed and his eyes we are doomed that he could not see that he could not see that he called esau listen the bible says when isaac is now old that his eyes are doomed he could not see he called esau that what yes his older son his old dear son and said to him and said to him my son my son and he answered and he answered here I am. Here I am. Then he said. Then he said. Behold now. Behold now. I am old. I am old. I do not know the day of my death. I will not know. I did not know the day of my death. Hold on that scripture. How many children are under the unction of this voice? That when they know now that their father has now retired, he cannot pay their school fees. That their father has now retired, they cannot make. And yet still they can come close to their father for a blessing. Some are even disowning their father some are even ashamed to introduce their father in the public some children are ashamed to point finger at their father to say this is my father to their friends to their colleagues abraham said he said i am old and my eyes are doomed i cannot see anymore i don't know the day i will die he says so come near go and prepare something go, let me don't go before the scripture continue father's blessing now therefore now therefore please take your weapons please take your weapon after when uh, 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 isaac isaac said to to to, to esau the eldest son he said esau take your weapon now because i am old he said go to the field yes brother and your quiver and your quiver and your bowls and your bowls and go out to the field go out to the field and hunt game hunt game for me for me and make and make me soup make me a stew a soup a soup food a soup food such as i love such as what i, I love. love listen i love what isaac said isaac said you must say i am not working how will i please my father you will say oh i am not doing business how will i please my father the bible did not tell me that he said go and collect your salary and come the bible say isaac said go to the field play game game mean you there are different types of game go and lay farm go and do other things work hard so that you will find something for me so i will eat and bless go and prepare something that you will know i love so that i will bless you how many children they are only blessing their father with the shoes that they don't use anymore they only give their father with the things that they don't want anymore they only go to the village december to visit their father only with one bag rest for the rest of the year 12 months in the year 365 days in the year only one bag will your father and your mother survived only christmas or pray day they will remember their father only easter day they will remember their, 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 their father some will even carry the, the rice to their father they will stay with their father buy a sugar finish that sugar before they return back and they leave nothing what are we up to this is the mistake generation make 
the greatest mistake they are making now about blessing especially father's blessing is when they allow their father to die without blessing them it's when their father is still alive and they don't care about their father father is against their children children are against their father ladies and gentlemen you are under the unction of my voice this morning or this evening i want you to connect yourself and be determined to go back and take care of your father Isaac understand that Abraham bless him. Abraham bless him before he dies. So he said, I will not die. I wait my blessing. I am fully loaded. So before I die, Esau, go, go out now. Take up your sword. Take up your quiver. Take up your bow and arrow. Go to the field and play game. Catch something and bring me. Make soup for me. Bring a seed in, in your hand. Bring something for me so that I will eat and bless. Ladies and gentlemen, you may not have everything, but give something to your father so that your father will bless you. I am talking about both spiritual father and your biological father. But I mean, I am coming. I am coming because it's your, your biological father. In fact, your spiritual father is more important than your biological father. Permit me to say that. Yeah. Because your biological father take you from where, from, 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 from where you came from and brought you to the world. But your spiritual father is taking you from this world to the Lord. Yes, to go back where you are going to. So you need these blessings. I am not talking for only my children that are in the church. But I'm talking for all to all the children, to all the born again, the Christians that are under the unction of this voice. In any place you are, in any little church you are, oh, there is not little, many spirit, spirit have mercy. In any church that you fellowship, respect your spirit, spiritual father. Hmm. In any way you find yourself, respect your father. Libre ke ya bakaya so doli koto siyaka. Respect your father. Mandize beke ya bukoya si de de de. La koto breko ya biye ke si ke ya. He said, Father, I said, it's Isa. I understand. My father Abraham, before he left, he did not only give me the gift, but he blessed me. I have all that is take for me, for you not to suffer, even till you die. He said, but I will not die if I don't bless you. Go out and find something. And this is my advice to every son and daughter that is under the unction of this voice. Go helter skelter. Go and play games. Go do something to please your father. Take care of your father. Go back to your father. And when in the midst of that you are doing that, let your father release a blessing. I love my biological father and my spiritual father. Whenever I'm doing something, they, say they always give me a word, especially my biological father. He always bless me. He said, may God bless you. May God lift you high above your enemies. Ladies and gentlemen, I am not only a, preacher, a, 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 a reading scripture, I am a living scripture. I am not only telling you what to do, I am not doing it, I am working on it. Libra Kaya. He said, go and make a game. Yes, brother, continue. And bring it to me. And bring it to me. That I may eat. That I may eat. That my soul may bless you that before I die. That my soul may bless you before, before I die. I die. Look at that. He said that what? My soul, soul may bless, bless you before, before I, die. I die. Ladies and gentlemen, don't allow your father to die without a soul blessing you. Go back. If you are here, oh, somebody may say, Papa, oh, my father has died. And I don't know what to do. Go to your spiritual father. Let him represent your biological father. Go for this blessing. In fact, tomorrow the service is for blessing. Don't miss tomorrow. I'll be having a deliverance service tomorrow at number 15, Make I Condo Road. For especially for all those that are parents are died. If your father is alive, don't you don't need for me to pray for you on behalf of your father. Go back in any condition, no matter how your father has hurt you. It may be bitter, but go and take a blessing. Go back, reconcile with your father. No matter how hard it is. But if your father is not alive, come to the church tomorrow. I will bless you. Many people are suffering because they lack father's blessing. Many people are not making it because they lack father's blessing. Isaac said to Esau, he said, go and give me something so that I will eat and my soul will bless you before I die. Is it in your Bible, brother? Yes, sir. Continue. Read that scripture for me. Go back to that scripture. Verse 4. Verse 4. And make me sovereign food. Make me sovereign food. Such as I love. Such as I love. Go and give your father such that he love. And bring it to me. And bring it to me. That I may eat. That I may eat. That my soul may bless you. That my soul may bless you. May bless you. You hear that? This is Before Isaac. Before I die. Before I die. This is Isaac speaking to, to his son, Esau. And see the manipulation that took place. 
He said, hey, Isaac said, I will not die if I don't bless you. He said, go and give me something such as I love. Your father may not need much because he will understand. But there are certain father, they love to be closer to their radio. Buy radio for your father. You know your father loves to eat bread before he, to bed. In the morning he will drink coffee. The, these little things that you see, go in for what he loves. I was, I was communicating to my father, even though he has a vehicle. My father has vehicle. He has a car. But if I, 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 I on board and I have a vehicle, I was using a motorbike. And I decided not to sell that motorbike because I, I, I have a vehicle and I will not misuse this thing. Why will I pack this thing? Let me give it to my father. And I give to my father. My father said, you know, I have vehicle. I said, father, take this one. And today, my father recalled. He said, my son, where are you? <laughs> Two days now, we have not spoken. I love you so much. Where are you? <laughs> he said, today, I was riding the bike that you gave me, the motor bike that you gave me. He said, people, he said, I was so proud of you. And I told them that my son gave this to me. He said, I believe my son, if you bless, you will give me a vehicle. I pray for grace. You will increase. You will make it. Oh, any weapon that fashion against you will not prosper. And this is why I am alive. People think I am on the wall because things is working. It's not a mistake. It's because of father's blessing. Go back for your father. It no matter. Can I shock you? My father even disowned me. Can I shock you? My father even told my mother that he don't know. I don't know where you took this one from. But today my father is saying, I am so proud of you. Blessing. Get back. I keep everything aside. All the maltreatment, the marginalized that my father marginalized me. I keep it aside. And yes, there is something. When I come across to this scripture, when the father teach me, when the Holy Spirit taught me this, I go back for my father's blessing. And today we are in peace with my father. If you don't believe, call my father. He will tell you. Go back for your father's blessing. Yes, brother, continue. He said, Verse go five. and give me something so that we eat before I die. Verse 5. Verse 5. Now Rebecca was listening. Now Rebecca, the mother, was listening. When Isaac spoke to Esau. When Isaac spoke to Esau. Esau. Rebecca, listen, look at that. To every blessing that the father has, your mother has an idea to reach. Yes, Don't let your mother instigate you to go against your father. Don't let your mother say your father did not care so you will not care for your father. Work with your mother because your mother knows when your father will bless you. Your mother knows whom your father wants to bless. Work with your mother and take your mother's blessing. Your father has the blessing, but your mother needs to choose whom the father will bless. To oh. so any child that is not blessed, go back to your father. Ask your, uh, go back to your mother. Ask your mother why, whether your mother take blessing from your father. Go back to your mother, no matter how what is this. That was what happened. God did not care whether your father care or did not care. Because your father took your mother as wife. It doesn't matter whether the relationship goes sour, but at that time it was love. God did not bring them together, your father going for your mother. So your father going for your mother and your father has that blessing for you. This was the same mistake that Adam made. Adam said, this is the bones of my bones. God said, I do not care whether Eve gave you that fruit. You must go back. He said, because you call her your bones of your bones. You tell me that you need a partner. And I give it. So in any father, there is a blessing deposited. In the womb of a father. Work with your mother. So your mother. And when Isaac, when Isaac told Esau, he said, Esau, go for this blessing. And the mother now stand. The mother said, no, Esau, you will not receive this blessing. He said, but Isaac will take this. He said, Jacob will take this blessing. Yes, your mother needs to tell you where is your blessing. Yes, your mother, mother, if you are under the unction of this voice, stop instigating your children to go against their father. I love my mother. There was a time when my father had go against me. And I wanted to be proud. I want pride enter my life. So I wanted to be to cack. Because this is the common word I will use so that you understand. When my, when my father was so angry with me and my father said, I don't want to see you, my mother would communicate to me the time my father is down. My mother would tell me. The time for me to go and apologize to my father for the wrong I did, my mother would tell me. I bless my mother and I thank my mother. When my father said, get out from here, my mother would go and encourage me. Don't worry. <laughs> go inside. Take, take the shoe. He wants to use his shoe. Go and clean it. Iron, iron, go. 
come go inside and even when i enter my father with the blue eyes my father will say what are you doing and the mother will just laugh <laughs> he has come to clean up your shoe <laughs> he wants to iron Bo you back, bo left now, bo left now, bo, and we will be on that. My mother now, because you, no matter how it is, your mother understand your father more than your very self because they started. They know how they started. He knows what your father's love. I don't know whether I'm communicating here. So my mother will now say, "Go get this thing. Go and fetch water for your father. He wants to bath. Go and do this so that your father will calm down, and my father will calm down and we will live a peaceful life." But there are certain mother, you papa, you know they do nothing for me. It just left with so some man they pull the one mat by the picking like now the picking of henna. I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. Go back to your father. No matter how you papa they get blessing for you. He has that blessing for you. Ladies and gentlemen, Rebecca was listening and automatically and immediately when Esau left the place to go and gamble. And what happened? Rebecca said, continue that scripture faster. Time. I want to round up. So Rebecca spoke to Jacob. So Rebecca spoke to Jacob. Her son. Her son. Same. Same. Indeed, I hear your father speak. I hear your father speak. To Esau. To Esau. Your brother. Your brother. Same. Same. Bring me game. Bring me game. And make sovereign food. And make sovereign food. For me. For me. That I may eat. That I may eat. And bless you. And bless you. In the presence of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord, go faster. Before my death. Before my death. Now, therefore. Now, therefore. My son. My son. Obey my voice. Obey my voice. According to what I command you. According to what I command you. Go now to the flock. Go now to the flock. And bring me from the two chosen kids. And bring me from the two chosen kids. Of the goats. Of the goats. And I will make sovereign food. And I will from make them. sovereign food from them. For your father. For your father. Such as he loved. Such as he loved. Then you shall take it bef to, he to your father. Then you shall take it to your father. That he may eat. That he may eat it. And that he may bless you. And that he may bless you. Before he died. Before he died. It was not a mistake. Some people will say Jacob steal the blessing from Esau. But it is something biblical that is written. The younger will serve the elder. For it is written, Jacob I have loved, but Esau I have hated. Somebody may say this is not good, but listen. Let me tell you, there is a revelation in that so that we understand. What is this trying to say? This one is trying to tell every mother. Maybe you are in a mad situation. Some mother will only try to prevent their children to go in for the property rather than the blessing. Yes, this one is trying to say that every mother must go for the blessing. But our mothers nowadays... Just because they are from, from, from mate situation and the father is about to die, all they will do to pass away, to inherit, damage the other children, to inherit the house, the this, and they are not going for the blessing. I love what Rebecca did. Rebecca said, before they go and give that gift so that they were blessed, you go and do this thing so that your father will bless you. How many mothers today will listen this one? Especially those that are going through fighting for family house, family property. They are fighting. How many mothers will take this advice from Prophet Joseph? That you concentrate to your blessing. Let your children take the blessing because even in life, even in property, those who have long life will carry it, will take the property. The blessing will multiply. The blessed one will make it. I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. If you can listen to this advice. Why is they are fighting you for the property? You'll be fighting. For the blessing. Yes, brother, continue. Verse 11. Verse 11. Now Jacob said to Rebecca. And Jacob said to Rebecca. His mother. His mother. Look. He said, look. He saw my brother. He saw my brother. He's a hairy man. He's a hairy man. And I am a smooth skinny. I am a smooth skinny man. Man. Man, yes. Perhaps my father will feel me. He said, perhaps my father will feel me. And I don't want to have double costs. And I shall seem to be... A deceiver to him. A deceiver to him. And what? And I shall bring a cause you see? on my life. And I shall bring a cause to my life. But what happened? And not a blessing. And not a blessing. But what happened? But his mother said to him. But his mother said to him. Let your cause be let on Let your me. cause be on me. On me. Ladies and gentlemen, if your children are not making an edgeway, the mother is responsible. Is responsible. 
try to stand for something so that your child will be blessed. The only thing our mother know now is to go to Pastor Ripal, mommy, to inquire. Sir. Walk by this and look the lifestyle of Rebecca so that you will make it. Some will even take them, go ask me, Peking, go ask her. Take them to the native doctors. Take them to the marine kingdom, marine powers. Take them for every society so that they will... Only broko ya bakaya. If you are under the unction of this voice, woman, woman, I'm not talking to woman, but woman, listen and listen well. Fight that your son and your daughter will inquire, we acquire the blessing from the father. The woman said, I he said, Jacob, don't worry, let your cause be on me. He said, But you go for that blessing, go and take your blessing. Mother, you must go helter skelter. And whenever I'm talking to my mother, my mother says, Are you okay? I, I bless you. May God bless you. Sometimes my mother fast. In the midst of where I am tired, ladies and gentlemen, don't be surprised. I have a backup. Both of them are alive and they are praying for me. Even though they are not together, but they are praying for me. Libro <laughs> Oh, their oppression, their confusion will not set me apart from them because they are the only father, the only mother I have. So even though they set apart, no matter whether they are east or west, I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. Yes, sir. Whether they are east, my father is in the east, it's my father. Whether my mother is in the west or from the west, it's my mother. So I will be the one to bring them together. And I thank God for unity today between them. Yes, sir. Yes, brother, continue. Only obey my voice. He said, only obey my voice. And go. And go. Get them for me. Get them for me. And he went and got them. And, and he brought went and it, got them. And brought them to, her, to his mother. Yes. And his mother made sovereign food. And his mother such, made sovereign food. Such as his such father as loved. His father's love. Then Rebecca took the choice. Then Rebecca took, took his choice. Took the choice clothes. Yes. Of her oldest son. son. Yes, go faster. Esau. Esau. Which we are with her. Which we are with her. The house in the house. Yes. And put them on Jacob. Her youngest. Yes, son. all this the mother was doing so that the, uh, Jacob we inquire the blessing. Yes, sir. And she put the skin. And she put the skin. Oh, Look at that. Oh, they we are from the same womb. E Esau and Jacob, they were from the same womb. Not even from different mother, but from the same mother. Yeah. But I do believe Jacob was more obey to eyes to, 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 Rachel. to Rachel. That's why Rachel says Rebecca, to Rebecca. That's why Rebecca says, Jacob, you will take that blessing. Come down. Be humble. Humble yourself so that the Lord will lift you up. Yes, I continue. And she put the skin of the kids. And she put the skin of his kids. Of the goat. Of a goat. On his hands. Yes, verse what now? Verse 16. 16. Yes. On his hands and the smooth part of his neck. Yes. Then she, she gave the sovereign food uh -huh. and bread. Uh -huh. Which she had prepared. Which she has prepared. Into the hands of his son jacob into the hands of his son jacob so he went to his father so he went to his father and said and said my father my father and he said and he said here i am here i am who are you who are you my son my son jacob said to his father jacob said to his father i am Esau. Your i am Esau, your firstborn i have done with i have prepared all what you told me to do done <laughs> Yes, sir. Continue. <laughs> I have just done. I have just done what just you said. as you told me. Yes, sir. Please arise. Arise. Sit and eat. Sit and eat. Of my game. Of my game. That your soul may bless me. That your soul may bless me. Ladies and gentlemen, no matter how it costs, go and do something so that your father will, what? will bless you. You need your father's blessing. <laughs> Jacob said, my father will not die. Even though he wants to give the blessing to, to Isa, he said, this will not happen. I won't sit. Ladies and gentlemen, go out, fight for your blessing. Don't fight for that family property anymore. Fight for blessing. Jacob said, by hook or by crook. He said, my, I will be, I will make it. He said, by blessing. And after that, yes, brother, continue. But Isaac said to his son. But Isaac said to his son. How is it? How is it? That you have found it so quickly. That you have found it so quickly. My son. My son. And he said, and he said, because the Lord your God, because the Lord your God brought it to me, <laughs> hmm. only for blessing. Yes, brother, continue. Isaac said to Jacob, Isaac said to Jacob, please come near, please come near, 
that I may feel you. That I may feel you. And that I may feel you, my son. And that I may feel you, my son. Whether you are really my Whether son. Whether you are really my son. Esau. Esau. Or not. <laughs> So you see, just brother, continue. The, the father said, "Come near, whether you are really my son, uh, 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 Esau." He said, "Because the voice." Let me don't go before the scripture. So Jacob, so Jacob went near to so Isaac. Jacob his went near father, to Isaac, his father, and he felt him and said, "And he felt it and said, the voice is Jacob. The voice is Jacob, but the hands are the hands of Esau. But the hands are the hands of Esau." what is this trying to say uh, you are the, the younger brother but the way you are behaving to me you are taking the responsibility of the elder brother what he's supposed to do i don't know whether i'm communicating this is a revelation it's hard for somebody it takes the spirit to interpret it to you well jacob said ah. isaac. isaac said he said the voice is like jacob he said but i've taught you you are hearing you are like Esau." What is this trying to say? That even though the man was blind, but because blessing, because Jacob has something in his hands, so the man could not still understand it, could not still pick it up. I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. Sorry. You may even be female and still feed mates. You may even be the younger one and fight for the blessing of your father. If you are doing something good, I will please your father, your father will bless you. Look at that. It's a, the voice of you. Meaning, Esau will have supposed to do this thing very fast. But he was in the jungle trying to do something. But automatically, Jacob said, let me come. Be in haste to bless your father so that you will not miss your father's blessing. For you don't know when he will pass away. For you don't know what will happen next. For you don't know how tomorrow may be. Go for your father. Do something that your father. Keep blessing your father so that you will, you will inquire more. Because when your father bless you, you will multiply. Lebre kaya bukoto si ya kabaya. Mandi gede se gede le gede baya. He said, look at, he said, the voice <laughs> is like Jacob. He said, but I taught you your here is like Esau. He did not understand. That's why sometimes you will look people in the family. This if God bless I, they bless me. A small boy, they, they get hot. Immature. They behave well. Nine are the small but nine serious past the whole. I don't know whether you have come across that. Yes, this was you can hear all these things. He said, you, you see, the thing become baffled when you have your father's blessing. Yes, continue that scripture. Twenty-three. Twenty-three. And he did not recognize him. And he did not recognize him. Because his hands we are hearing like his brother. Because his hands we are hearing like his brothers. Brother. So he blessed him. So you see, he what? He blessed he bless him. him. Yes, brother. Then he said. Then he said. Are you really my son? Are you really my son? Esau. Esau. He said, he I said, am. He said, I am. He said, he bring said, it near to me. Bring it near to me. And I will eat of my son's And game. I will eat of my son's games. So that my son may bless you. So that my, my soul, my may, bless soul you. may bless you. So he brought it near to his to him and eat. He brought brought it near, near to, him to him and, and ate. eat. And he brought him wine. And he brought him wine. And he and he drank. And he drank. Then his father Isaac said to then him. Then his father Isaac said to him, Come near now. Come near now. And kiss me. And kiss me. My son. My son. And he's and he came near. And, and he came near him. And kissed him. And he smiled. The smile of his clothing. Oh, Rakoto, see, de, 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 de. And bless him. Brother, if you do said, well to your father, your father will always praise you. Your father will kiss you. Your father will bless you. What are you doing? To take that blessing. Because you know it's your father. You don't have respect. You just do things what you want to do. And the, 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 the housemate, the servant in the house is collecting your blessing. What you, so, you are supposed to do, the servant in the house is doing it and is collecting your blessing and you are sitting looking at what you are supposed to do for your father others are doing for your father and they are taking the blessing that your father is supposed to bless you go back to your father Esau went to, for, so, for the struggle so that his father will bless but before he came Jacob took the blessing he did what he was supposed to do and he took the blessing yes brother surely the smell of my son is like the smell of surely the, the smell of my son is like the smell of the of a field you see the smell of my son is like the smell of my son surely what they do now this me begin me they do surely what they do i don't know what i'm communicating here yes, this is a revolution it's hard for you to understand it takes the spirit to me to interpret it well to you 
Yes, brother, continue. Gados. Which the Lord has blessed. Which the Lord has blessed. Therefore, may therefore may God give you. You see? And uh, the father begin to release blessing upon Jacob. Sorry. Therefore, the what? Therefore, may God give you. May God bless you. May God the, give you. Of the dew of heaven. Of the dew of heaven. Of the of the fatness of the earth. Of the fatness of the earth. See blessing. Continue. And plenty of gain and wine. And plenty of gain and wine. Ladies and gentlemen, you are under the unction of this voice. You need to go that your father may release this blessing upon your head. I decree and declare that you will carry this blessing. You will possess it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hey, oh, Jacob, Isaac blessed Jacob. He said, let the fatness of heaven and on earth be given unto you. Yes, sir. Blessing. How many people today did not have this blessing and that's why they are struggling. They will start something and they will not finish. They will have blessings, but because they lack blessing, all these things vanish away. So. As I told you inter earlier, blessings are different from blessing. Blessings are the things you see, but blessing is what makes you see the blessings, the things that you have now. And if you don't continue, I see I pity people that when they see blessings, they talk to their father and their mother. So. Anyhow, they don't have respect for them, and that's why the blessings are not are not multiplying, but they are subtracting. That's why the blessing is not increasing but decreasing. Ladies and gentlemen, God is not blessing you for others to be in trouble. God bless you so that others will be blessed. Certain people, when God bless them, they don't have respect for their mother and their father. They talk to them anyhow. You are under the unction of this voice. Maybe you are suffering. Maybe things is going harder and harder. Find something. Go back and apologize to your father and your mother. Go back because they, 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 they are connected to you and their blood is on you. And there is a blessing in their womb that is connected to you. And to every mother, to every father must release a blessing. But today, they, instead of them to give blessing, they are giving causes. Because why? The children are giving cause so that their father, their parents will curse them. How many times a day have you done something or you did something or you do something uh, that your mother will please and bless you? Rather than how many times a day that you will offend your father and your father keep cursing you? That's why sometimes you can see parents go anger for their children. Instead of them to bless them, they are cursing them. Halaki, swear, you won't kill me, you're not going to kill me. Now you go die before me. Look at the prophecy, look at what they release upon their head. That's why no wonder they untimely death now. I don't know whether I'm communicating here. You want to make her suffer, now you go suffer. These are the, their own trans. I talked the other day, I said, if you beat you, picking, not beat her with cause. Some man, they beat him, picking, basta, boom, basta, bagam, basta, bagam. They beat her, they cause. With anger, it they release that cause upon them. If you beat her, I'm not saying not beat her, because the Bible says, if you spear the rod, you will spoil the child. Beat her, as you beat her, they cry, they bless her. You, let God bless you. Boom, you knock her one. Let God increase you. You this pain way they cost me. Let God make you change. You beat a more more they cost. Mm. You are under the unction of this voice. This is what I want you to practice today and walk by it. Go back to your father. No matter whether you papa na again le plusy, whether a blind now you papa when he knows that is your father, go let him lay hands on you. He has something for you that no one can take it. No matter how it is, how he offended you, it's too hard. But don't allow him to die with that anger. Don't allow, go back and apologize. Kneel down and please your father. Let your father lay hands on you. You know why? Because the Bible said, Jesus said the other day. He said, if your brothers you are seen, you don't love. What about me that you are not seen? Meaning if your father that you are seen, you are not serving. You are, don't have respect for your spiritual father. You don't have respect for your biological father. You are not serving your father that you are seen. You are not finding blessing for your father that you are seen. What about me that you are not seen? let make this thing real let make it scripture scriptural so that listen as we understand exactly what prophet joseph is saying yes brother he released blessings may god bless you may you gain the heavens the favor from heaven may you gain the fatness in the earth yes brother continue let people serve you let people what serve, serve you. you let people 
people serve you and this is the blessing that i came to release i prophesy to everyone that is under the unction of this voice yes, i take a father's blessing so long as i'm your spiritual father yes, i release a blessing upon your head Amen. people will serve you you will no longer serve people Amen. in the name of jesus you will not beg people Amen. people will beg to you Amen. in the name of jesus i prophesy yes, i decree and declare yes, to every sons and daughters under the unction of this voice yes, so long as you hear he the word and you obey yes, you go back to your father i prophesy to your life yes, that by the power of god almighty yes, you will inherit heaven and the earth amen i prophesy to you yes, that you people will serve you will not serve people amen this is father blessing yes brother continue and nation bow down to you and nation what bow, bow down, down to, to you. you that's why automatically jacob was turned to israel yes, because the, of the prayer of the father people will bow down to you Jacob, Isaac blessed Jacob. He said, people will bow down to you. That's why, that's why the thing worked for Jacob when Jacob had an encounter with the angel. He said, you will not go unless you bless me. And God, when God blessed Jacob, he changed his name. He said, from Jacob to Esau, to, to, to Israel. Israel is a nation. Because why? His father first blessed him. He said, nations will bow to you. And all the Judea, the Philistines, all the things that we are fighting Israel, they bow down to Israel. Father's blessing. Ladies and gentlemen, you are under the unction of my voice. Go back and take Father's blessing. I don't know whoever is under the unction of the voice. You may say your father has died. Go back to your spiritual father. Let him be in line. Or you come tomorrow for service at number 15 Make I Kondo Road. Come there for, for, for a blessing that I want to pour upon your head. I'm, I am talking discreetly for those that their fathers are not alive. That they've died and yet they are suffering. Come, take a spiritual father to stand in the gap so that you will multiply. He said, nations will bow before you. That was not enough. Yes, continue. Be master over your brethren. You will be master over what? Your, your brethren. brethren. Don't be surprised. When I am master over the scripture, when you can minister, Jack can minister, but when I minister, they know somebody is ministering. Yes, somebody is master over his business. I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. Yes, don't be surprised. When I am pick up in this place, oh, people know me, and yet you have been here for 100 years and they do not know you. Go back for your blessing. And I release blessing upon your head. I release blessing upon your head. Amen. Every cause that is affecting your life, Yes, sir. from your childhood yes, sir. from your marital life yes, sir. in your bad life i break that causes today Amen. i release blessing Amen. i mean to everyone that take me as their father yes, sir. as a spiritual father yes, sir. i may be small but i carry generation yes, sir. i may be tiny remember the bible says for the younger would for the elder we serve the younger, the younger yes, because sir. it is written jacob i have love but esau i, I hate her. what then will you say will you say the lord is 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 partial no the lord say if you read the book of romans chapter number nine verse nine that was uh, verse 15 says the Lord says I will have mercy on whom I will, I will have, have mercy and I will have compassion, compassion on, on whom I will have, have compassion. compassion ladies and gentlemen you need a blessing and I profess I to every son and daughter yes, sir. not those that do not believe in my words not those that do not believe prophet Joseph but those that believe prophet Joseph I prophesy to your life yes, sir. Because it's your belief that will make you live. Yes, sir. Rikete kete kete brakaya. Kudegede. Because if you are not a believer, you will not be delivered. Yes, sir. You don't get me. If you are not a believer, you will not be delivered. Deliver. And you will feel it in your liver. Yes, sir. You will always have the area fever. Yes, sir. sakaya. I release blessing. Amen. I release favor. Amen. I release power. Amen. I release abundance in your life. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Yes, brother. Continue. And let your mother's sons bow down to you. Let your mother. How many fathers has, has released this such a blessing to their children? How many children are still communicating to their father so that their father will still continue to bless them? Rather than because they have blessed, they want their father to come down to them. You are still a son. No matter how it is, a son is a son. A daughter is a daughter. Your father is your father. Sir. Yes, brother. Cost be everyone who costs you. Cost be everyone who costs you. Who costs you? So you see, certain people are living places with curses. Certain people, as for me, I leave my father with blessing. I leave my spiritual father also with blessing. He said, "You will increase. Cost be those who cost you, and bless be to those who bless you. Yes, so whoever costs me, you are on cost. 
Whoever bless me, you are blessed. This is the generation. This is the man that you are seeing. You always hear Prophet Joseph Kane from the great consuming fire. Whoever trying to fight me, the angel of God, my God will fight them. They will not succeed. Sir. Yes, brother, continue. I started with only three members, but I thank God today. Yes, sir. Now it happened. Now it happened. As soon as Isaac had finished blessing Jacob. As soon as Isaac has finished blessing Jacob. And Jacob has. <laughs> Lebrika as soon as Isaac. Anyway, for time, let me don't go into that deeper. But I guess you must have understand now about father's blessing. No child will be greater than his father, no matter how it is. It is time. When your time reaches to rail, don't see your father as your enemy. Don't see your father as your houseboy. Don't see your mother as your housemate. Go back. No matter how it is, before I started prophecy, my spiritual father started this thing and passed it over. Yes, no matter how I go higher in height, I must remember that it was because of my spiritual father that made me prophesy. That through him, I know it's my effort as well. Because if I did not concentrate, my father would have actually kicked me out. But because I patient and I concentrate, I know I walk it. But that doesn't mean because I am now walking and this thing is working for me. That doesn't mean I will see my father as a rival. That doesn't mean I will see my father as I'm above my father. It's a matter of time. Every father must release a blessing to his son. For those premature people that are just living ministry like that without the father's blessing. Without their spiritual father's blessing. I don't know whether I'm communicating to somebody. Go back for your blessing. No matter. I know you will try to stand, but go back for your blessing. You need your father's blessing. Oh, maybe you are trying, act tired, asking yourself, what is wrong with me? Others are making it and I'm not making it. Go back for father's blessing and you will see. Go back for father's blessing. Let's go to Genesis 28 verse 1. Let's see something as I want to round up now. After we... Isaac, after when Jacob have carried the blessing, you hear about the story of Jacob. Yes, brother, continue. 28. 28, verse, verse 1. 1. Yes, sir. Then Isaac called Jacob. Then Isaac called Jacob. And blessed him. And blessed him, you see? Yes. And charged him. And charged him. And said to him. And said to him. You shall not take a wife from you see? the daughter of Kenan. He did the same thing as his father did to him. His father, Abraham, said, Isaac, you must not take wife from another place. He sent his old dear servant to go and find Rebecca for her, for him. So he did the same thing. He blessed him and gave him guide. This is what, ladies and gentlemen, I want you to capture. Go back to the rule of your father. Go back to your father and bless your father, no matter how it is. And the Bible says in chapter in verse one, he say what? Isaac bless who? Jacob. Father's blessing. You may say, let me try to round up because time is not in my favor. Let me try. By the special grace of God. For all those that are in the church, you are calling somebody your spiritual father, your papa, your spiritual father. Go back for a blessing to your spiritual father. Many people have become a church prostitute because they live from one church to another and they are not living well. You must go back and take blessing before you go to another church. No matter what, so long as you pronounce it, there was a day that you pronounced, this is my father. He's my spiritual father. Something has connected, except you go so that they will release you. Libra Kayaka. You may say, oh man of God, what about we? Our father has died. What about those that are in the church that are calling? Your spiritual father is even more significant than your biological father. Oh yes, you may want to prove me and I will give you a proof. I told you, you can argue with anything, but you cannot argue with an evidence. Turn with me to the book of Deuteronomy. Dethrone your enemy. I mean Deuteronomy. <laughs> Chapter 33, verse 1. Dethrone your enemy. 33, verse 1. Father's blessing. Now this one is spiritual father's blessing. And your spiritual father may bless according to how you walk in the house of God. God will lead your spiritual father. He said, bless this one because he's too hard working in the church. That's why some people are too jealous because this is not working for them in the church. Jealousy has become the order of the day. In the church. Hmm. May God have mercy upon souls. Amen. Upon the souls of men. Yes, brother. Are you Deuteronomy there? 33. 33 verse 1. Verse 1. Yes, sir. Now this is the blessing with which Moses, the Moses. man of God. The what? The, the man, man of God. God. 
Every man of God you say is a man of God, whether he's from your church or he's not your church, respect him. He's a father. Any man of God that God has anointed that say this is a man of God, no matter the life he's living, leave them as you see them. Because God himself said judgment will start at the altar. God only has the audacity, the power to touch them. If you touch them, if their blood is in your hand, is anything is in your hand, if you talk about them, you are finding curses for yourself. For yourself. So I repeat myself again. Now this is a blessing from a man of God. Look at what the Bible says from Moses. And it did not only say Moses. It said but what? A, a, a man, man of God. Of God. Don't only call me prophet Joseph but realize that I'm a man of God. Don't only call that pastor, Pastor Dipo, but realize that pastor is a man of God. Don't only go for the title, go for the man that will tie to God. Yes, brother, continue. He said, bless the children. Bless the children, you see. Of Israel. The Lord, from the man of God, he said, bless the children of Israel. So it's because only the man of God that only has the power now to bless all the children. I don't know whether I'm communicating. Even your father is the man of God that will bless your father so that your father will bless he said to bless all the children of what israel so only the man of that's why i pity the man of god especially the body of christ right from freedom or wherever that they are not blessing this land they are the cause that they cannot face in the government they're facing the president eyeball to eyeball and minister to them according to god says the lord i am finding a time where i will be given opportunity to see the president and his microma eyeball to eyeball to administer to him Many of them, they will only go and they collect envelopes. They forget the preaching. Yes, they forget the word of God. Many of them, even during Ebola, they did not go to the government and say, Oh, we must pray, we must do this. But rather than they were busy collecting envelopes. Yes. May God have mercy upon the souls of men. Amen. Only the man of God will bless nation. If only the pastors will come to organize a program at the stadium. All the men of God to pray with unity and pray for this country. This country will be a better platform. Yes, but rather than they are too busy fighting one another. Yes, they are too busy fighting pastors to pastors. As if this was, That's why the whole war, the whole war is corrupt. Because pastors are corrupt. The leaders that, are, that God appointed to be united, to bring together, to bring peace. And they are apart. How won't the president, the leadership will not be apart? Yes, sir. How won't nations will not be apart? How won't children will not be apart? When the pastors that are supposed to represent God, they call them man of God, men from God. Yes, that sir. you need to set apart. You need to step aside. Not everything you will encounter. Not everything you will say yes, but yes to father empower me choose me as the anointed one choose me as you anoint david yes, to sir. stand before goliath and Rata david give me the spirit of boldness and david said who is this uncircumcised philistines who, who are they who are they that, has, that, that want to bring commodity in the town who are they that want to want to bring destruction in the war who are they that did not hear the word of god that wants to bring destruction who are they Already, David said the other day, he said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house yes, than sir. to dwell in the thousands of wickedness, in the tent of wickedness. David said, since I was born, maybe you are fighting because you want to be fame, you want to gain position, you want to gain riches. David said, he said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in the house of God than to dwell in the tent of wickedness. Libra yes. Kasayaka. I'm forgetting what Solomon says. Says the other day, he said, meaningless, meaningless, everything is meaningless. Meaning vanity, vanity, everything is vanity. vanity. We are the, we are the, we are the members of the land that we stand in one accord to pray for the land that this mess we are hearing will stop. Don't be surprised when you hear that this thing that happened this previous week or this previous days that they catch somebody that is killing people that they cut off they, they were doing what ritual I don't I don't I don't understand it was a message that God gave me that I believe I minister that message here and I give that message at the church. I said the Lord say he's ready to persecute everyone that will make at him. The week that I give my members are there. If they know if I am telling lies to this, at this media, they will tell you that I am fake. But they know they were there during that service. Yes, that God gave me this message. So don't be surprised when you see them exposed. It was during that week that they catch some of them at Lombly yes, in Freetown when I gave that message. 
A prophet or a man of God, you are always there to go. When things are going out of line, that is not with God. You will go. That's why you are, if you can find out, it's hard time for me now to preach, at the, to prophesy at the media. Because people only conscious about the prophecy, but they do not conscious about the word of God. Because the word of God is the master fear that sustains destiny. The word. The word. Libra kaya. Lekete. The Lord we are speaking to the prophet. He said go. Tell go and talk to the king. Tell the king. If he did not turn back from this. This will happen. Go to the president. Tell the president. If he did not did this. This will happen. Go to this king. Go to this chief. Go to this. But today. Preachers. Has become backbenchers. Hmm. In fact they are fighting. So that they will have link. And instead of them to give advice. They are fighting. Go. Push. Go. May God have mercy upon us. Amen. Libra kaya bakaya. Over my dead body, not in my time. Father, I've arrived to minister your word. Yes, I told you, are there words you don't want me to say? Don't put it in my mouth. But there are words you don't want me to say. You are looking for radical preacher that will preach your gospel. I am available. You are looking for Jonah to go to Nineveh to preach. I am available. Even though the fear, Jonah, the fish swallow Jonah, but yesterday Jonah prayed to you and you deliver Jonah. The fish for me tell Jonah, I don't care who will, who, will, who will swallow me because of the ministration, because of the word of God, but I know they will vomit me again. The book of Jonah, chapter number one. Oh, Rakata chapter two, verse one, that was, he said, and the Lord commanded the great fish and the fish swallowed Jonah. Verse 10, and Jonah prayed, and the Lord and the fish for me tell Jonah. Let's stand. In life, you don't stand for anything, you will fall for anything. And the man of God, every man of God has a blessing to the nation. Let's be praying for this nation. Let's stand for the nation. Let's stand for the war. Let's pray and set the captives free in the name of Jesus. Amen. If prayer can heal the sick, that prayer can heal the mind of the leaders so that they will be conscious and come back to God. Yes, sir. If prayer can change situation, we are too busy now preaching to members you will prosper. Let's busy to preach to them the gospel truth. Yes, sir. Libra kaya kas i dege de man dege de se de lele i brakoli asakaya. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Yes, brother. Let me round up time. I don't care what church you belong to, but as long as on Calvary we stand, you are my brother. Come give me your hand. That is what Jesus prayed. The last prayer before Jesus left. Because Jesus resurrected and go finally to heaven and sit at the right hand of God. He said, Father, make them one, even as we are one. We are comes this hatred, this grief, this jealousy in our mind for one another. Let's come back and put the house in order. Let's bless this land. Let's stand for this land. Let's pray in our private time. Let's pray. Let's be the one as David to stand and defeat this Goliath. Look at what happened. Even though the Philistines, the, the, the Israelites were having the God of the Ark, but the Philistines fight them because there was nobody to stand out and even take the God of the Ark. No wonder God departed from Israel. Until when Moses, when, 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 Libra Kasaya, until when, 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 when David stood up, he said, I have fought a battle before. I, I killed a lion that was about to take, to take my father's ship. He said, I know that uncircumcised Philistines will be like one. He said, I will kill, I will destroy. Let's stand, let's stand as David to defeat, to defend our land. Let's stand, let's forget about where you came from, from which tribe, which dish, which that. Let's come and bring unity. Maintain integrity as Job. Job said, naked I come, naked I will return. The Lord has given the Lord a ticket. And the wife of Jacob, Job, if you read the book of Job chapter number 2, verses 1, that was. He said, again, there was a day when the Son of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came and present himself. They will come, oh. They will come and present themselves even for election. They will come and present themselves for everything. Satan also came and present themselves. But no matter what they tell you to do, don't do it if you are with God. And the wife of Job said to Job, Are you still maintaining your integrity? Cause God and die. Are you still being holy? Hold this money and vote for me. Hold this money and do this. Hold this money and go and kill. Chase somebody and take off their head. Take the whole rakata. She did it. Libro koya. What is the word coming to? No matter what, can I shock you? Whether you kill somebody, they will kill you. You kill, they will kill you. No matter what happens, you will die one day. So what is the key? Stop the killing. Stop the chasing. Brother, come back and take a blessing. Take a father's blessing. Let's stand as Moses stand. Moses as a man of God that has the blessing for Israel. Not for Jacob, not for Isaac, but for Israel, meaning the whole nation. The man of God, men of God, we have, we have the blessing for this nation. Let's stand for the nation. Let's stand for this nation in our prayers. 
Libre Kaya Sakaya. Yes, brother. Time is not in my favor. Let me round up. Verse 2. Yes, sir. And he said, The and Lord said, came from Sinai. The Lord came from Sinai. And drew on them. And drew on them. Continue faster. Time. He shone forth from Mount Param. Mm -hmm. And he came with ten thousands of saints. Yes. From high round high right hand yes continue ten thousand of ten for high rant this that, 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 that go ahead time and he began came to bless them yes continue came a fridge law of law for them love for them yes yes he loves the people he loves the people all his sins are in his hand look at that all the saints. the lord loves the people but the people don't love god they don't want to come back let's look all the saints of god all what you want it's in the hands of god let's come back ladies and gentlemen let's come back to god let's come back let's come back we are sabacha when death came at the villa we are osama biladi when death came at the villa we are Gaddafi when let me don't go next week wednesday be connected yes bro that time is not in my favor let me round up they sit down at your feet faster they sit down at your feet and they begin to get everyone blessing. receive your words everyone received the word moses commanded moses commanded a law, a law. everyone us. received a love and the music commanded a love for us yes a heritage of the heritage congregation of, of the jacob. congregation of jacob so everyone as you walk so you receive your blessing as you walk for God, so you receive. And so every one of us, we have our blessing, even though it may be little. But yours is yours. Let's stand. Every pastor, whether you are anointed or not, your blessing, your prayer, we need. The, the, the nation at this time now need your prayer. Yes, brother, continue. When the leaders of the people we are gathered. When the leaders of the people we are gathered. All the tribes of Israel. All the tribes of Israel. Together. Together. Let Reuben live. Let Reuben live. Look at that. He, and not die. And not die. He began to bless them one at a time. How they were. According to their works and their deeds. He began to call their names and give them their various blessings. Yes, brother. Let Reuben live. Let his men be Not few. let his men be few. And this he will say to And this he will say to here. Yes, continue. Hear, O Lord, my voice. Hear, O Lord, Judea. my voice of Judea. Give me, give me, give me. Let me read faster. Verse what now? So that we'll continue. So the man of God has all the blessing for all the nation. Let Reuben live. Let it bless. Let it this. Let it that. Verse what? Let verse eight, verse six now. Let Reuben live, not die. Let his men be few. And this he said to Judea, Hear, Lord, the voice of Judea, and bring him to his people. Let his hand be sufficient for him, and may you be a help against his enemy. Look at that. According to their blessing, the man of God we are releasing, according to their work and their deeds, let your tamans and your arams be with your holy one, whom you tested at Masal, and with whom you contested tended at the water of Merah, who says of his father and his mother, I have not seen them, not did the, he acknowledge his brother or know his own children, for they have observed your words and kept your covenant. Then they, sh they shall teach Jacob your judgment and Israel your law, and they shall be incense before you and the whole bond a sacrifice on your altar bless his substance lord and accept the work of his hands shook the lion of those who rise against him and of those who hate him that he that they raise not again Look at that. Prayer upon prayer. As you walk with God, so God will give you your own portion. As you walk in the house of God, so the man of God will give you your own portion. As you walk, so the man of God will give the portion of the land. Look at that. All to Benjamin, he gave his own blessing. To this, to Joseph. Let's go to Joseph. As I told you, name signify. Your name, I don't know the name you are carrying. Your name. Your name. Let's go to Jacob, to Joseph, and of Joseph, and of Joseph, that is me sitting here. He said, <laughs> blessed of the Lord is his hand. Look at that, the blessing of the Lord is my hand, is in my hand. With the precious things of heaven and the drone, oh my God, the precious things of heaven is upon my life. And the deep line breathing with the precious fruit of the sun, with the precious product of the moon. Look at that, the precious product of the month. 
every precious product of the month is with me it's with joseph it's with you wherever you are this is your blessing with the best things of the ascent mountain with the precious things of the everlasting hills with the precious things of the art and its fullness and the favor of him who dwelt in the bush let the blessing come on the head of joseph and let on the let on the crown of the head of him who was separate from his brethren his glory is like a firstborn bull and his own like the horns of the white ox together with them he shall push the people I will push the people of this land and move this country to another level in the name of Jesus. We are looking for Joseph, not Moses anymore for this land. That we push. They are the ten thousands of Ephraim. It's too much. Ladies and gentlemen, let me round up because of time. And finally, turn to Malachi chapter number 4, verse 6. Malachi 4 verse 6 the Bible says to the prophets and it's only me the prophet that brings you this word the Bible says to the prophet let the children let the heart of a father come back to the children and let the heart of the children back to the father is it in your Bible Malachi chapter the fourth chapter Malachi the fourth chapter verse 6 as I round up finally with the ministration ladies and gentlemen you are under the unction of this voice. This is your prophet, Prophet Joseph Kane from the Great Consuming Fire Ministry. Once again, I will be having a deliverance service tomorrow at number 15 Make Icon Road. And before I left, I will give you my private number. You will call, or maybe I will open a phone line for just two minutes. You may want to make a contribution. You will contribute to this message. Give your own opinion and give your advice and after which you will call me privately we will talk and you will meet me for your blessing don't forget tomorrow at number 15 make icon the road malachi chapter number four verse six the bible says let the father let the heart of a father go back to the son and that of the son the heart of the son go back to the father i bring reconciliation today to you and your father i pray that the father's blessing you will require and you will inquire and you will have it in the name of jesus don't forget i am your prophet soon i'll open a phone line you call on my private number 030 844 228 pastor jonathan is with me in the studio and i don't know according to the message as you had the message that the spirit of god gave me i don't know what you will, you will say about this message maybe you will just have one or two contributions to say before round up yes pastor jonathan what will you say about this particular message yeah the message the message really touched me mm. by the grace of God. Because most of we, we don't forget we shall we come out. Mm. Most of the young people learn today, waiting and get now, they don't forget the background. They don't forget the parents. Mm. For let them even introduce them parents them before they colleagues them and not the do them. Mm. Because of pride or enter them. Because of the blessing the way that they get now. They not they see who shall they come out. But by the grace of God, with this message, you listen to this message, I want to let you go back to your village where you come out, or to your grandpa, to your papa, to your mama, go back. Reconcile with them, talk to them, let them bless you. If nothing will not take place in your life, go back to your papa, let go bless you. Go talk to your mama, if your papa heart warm self, go talk to your mama, your mama not retire by your papa. He go talk to him, he go cool him down, so that you go receive your own blessing. God will bless you, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget, there's your prophet, Prophet Joseph Kane from the Great Consuming Fire Ministry. And by the special grace of God, as I told you, you can call on my private number. Maybe you want to contribute at 030-844-228. But we don't have much time in our favor. And I see the network is disturbing. Rakutu CDD and the line is jam-packed full. 030-844-228. Or you call on the Airtel, maybe the Airtel will be okay. 078-835411. 078 I think we'll go on our first caller. Hello, caller. Hello. Hello, caller. You name me no side you call from, please. Hello, this is Sarah, your wife from Mumbai. Okay. Yes, Mama. I God has taken care of everything that you do. Hmm. He has promised you from of old and he has accomplished it and he stay on it. He will do it more. 
Amen. That's what you have done. Amen. May God bless you and may God strengthen you more and more. Amen. May God make your light to shine. Amen. Even among the enemies that the enemies will bow down before you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, ma'am. May God bless you. I've just required another blessing for my mother. Rakutu Bikiti Sayaka. God bless you. We'll try to see you, ma. 030 or 078 5411 Ladies and gentlemen, I know time is not in our favor. Oh, the line is jam packed full. I don't know who is on the line again. Hello, caller. Yeah, hello. This is Emmanuel Tinget here. Okay. Yes, my brother. You name it. Okay. What's the call from? Okay, yes, my brother. Wait till you text about this message and wait till you go say to people. First of all, I want to tell you about thank you because as long as you're in India, most of the time, I don't think go on there too much. You know, I listen to your program, so I tell you thank you. And I was so touched by you, brother, because really, I listened to you last preaching about the prophecy and to come to pass. So really. God is moving here and at the point that God will continue to move the mighty place so that it will, it will help to the young one. Then, and Amen. The Amen. And, and I pray the connect with God, they allow you for connect and always the listen and not go, go in vain. You will get something out of it and your heart desire will come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. It will be well with you in Jesus' name. So, what you go advise people about this message as they hear about Father's blessing? Well, uh, I tell everybody now the world for this now the end time of the list. Hmm. So we can talk about God, he works serious and they're very come closer to the scripture because I believe say when they use the scripture, I believe say they come very close to Papa God hmm. so that bad things are not go they can't like your mind or not so the worldly things no more go distract your attention. So sure. that I say to everybody within the listening at the media now that they then take the scripture very well. Not that the Christian or Muslim or come very close to God so that God will even intervene in the situation. Then. Okay, my brother. God bless you, God bless you. It will be well with you in Jesus' name. This is your prophet, Prophet Joseph Kanan from the Great Consuming Fire Ministry at number 50, Make Icon Road. Don't be surprised. It's not of my ego to say the great. But you know our God is a great God. And in Hebrews 12, 29, they say, For our God is a consuming fire. And you know my God is a great God. So that's why I say, Our God is a great God from the Great Consuming Fire Ministry at number 50, Make Icon Road. By the special grace of God, the line is jam packed full. But because of time, we'll try to round up. Uh, by the special grace of God, I think that will be the last, last lucky caller. As time is not in our favor. Hello, Kala. Hello. Hello, Kala. Yes, your name and outside you come from, please. My name is Mary, Mary. I have come from Kwakwima. Okay. Yes, Mary. How do you do? I did do five pass for two lucky three to me. Okay. Yeah. God, God bless you for that. So, the message where you listen, how are you, Papa? Una? Okay or waiting? How you listen the message? <laughs> And you see now, I cried him for the message there. I go and let go continue for doing and I'm alive. Make a honor me. Amen. 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 Because now that the Bible says, say, honor your father and your mother so that your days may be long. Yeah, yeah. I ask for prayer for me and my sister and my people there. Okay, it will be well with you. If you, if you will get a chance, visit me tomorrow on number 15 May Kaikondo Road. Yeah? Okay. All right. We'll get with deliverance service tomorrow exactly 5.30. Now, number 15, make I the road. God bless you. God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, time is not in our favor. And I see the line to jump pack. Of course, we're not got the station line. I they use my private line. So, like, and a cell phone line I use. So, the line, the jump pack, will get a lot of cuts. But we're not going to entertain all anyway. In case you don't miss this program, I do believe this program is recorded. And they'll go play a repeated broadcast maybe in the morning. Or maybe any other time where you go be faulting it. But don't forget, every Sunday morning, Prophet Joseph Dane at the same radio, same station, Citizen Radio, by the special grace of God, in case you don't miss tonight, you will get we Sunday morning or next week, Wednesday, same time, same station. God bless you as we day about to round up. Before we round up, don't forget we get a branch na bumpe where I believe say no matter what, Motamano go able I go stand and Pastor Jonathan come for take a father's blessing. He go return back very soon by the special grace of God. Instead they not the studio and by the to God be the glory, he don't they walk with me and I just release a father's blessing upon it yet by the special grace of God. Don't forget tomorrow we get we, 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 we service always we normal service with deliverance service, especially for the one that we feel say with them father don't die and they don't get no way again for take this 
this blessing come and make a release a blessing upon your head and wherever you do maybe it will be far for make you come or you know we will meet up for come but any church you find yourself within your area go there as the spirit lead you any church with the spirit they lead you go there any father where they take her as a spiritual father take her as god because god they inside him now true god any word is speak to you now from god whether it is like by you now and they left to right because god go judge him but you take the positive one and walk with her and you go get your reward take your father as a spiritual take your spiritual father as a father and you go receive that blessing and i pray for everybody when they under the unction of this voice maybe your business don't they go hard because you lack this information maybe think not they work for you i pray for father's blessing it will be well with you and god will bless you Amen. wherever you are let god bless you let god set you Amen. let god bring your resettlement your own resettlement in the name of jesus Amen. so even if they don't push you then go you go be reset you go settle in the name of jesus Amen. god bless you god bless you i think pastor jonathan go get a final word for say and in case you don't get me it will give you a number you go call her and you go get to it tomorrow not forget number 15 make i the road La direct you because you sabi fawas fawas building you can see a lot of motor car and park there you go fix a church not there in a bnd uh like i just give you 50 make i condo road a then a shop where the shop then call the shop dugutoni building materials a get blue paint and white paint as you reach they just ask they go direct you in a bnd so let you not see motor car and park we know the government will not go able to pull in there. So, <laughs> but you go get the direction, pass behind there, and receive your blessing. God bless you, Prophet Joseph Kane, 030 84422. I think Pastor Jonathan will give in last word before we leave for yes. this program. Pastor Jonathan, consume fire ministry, Pumpe Branch. God bless you. My number is 077 50 2928. God bless you all. Once again, this is your Prophet, Prophet Joseph Kane. Consuming fire ministry at number 15 make I condo road. Zero thirty eight four four two two eight zero seven eight eighty three fifty four eleven. For your comments or views, one of no part and parcel, be part of parcel of consuming fire ministry or whatever you want to know, go on my WhatsApp line zero seven eight zero seven zero thirty eight four four two two eight. WhatsApp me and you will have some inquiry. God bless you, God bless you. Still in again next Wednesday or Sunday morning. Same station, same dial, citizen radio. God bless you. Bye bye. Whatever you